to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Kadosh. Double honest to our elders, the apostles of Great Millstone, the men that taught us the truth of the Bible through the Holy Spirit. And Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Kadosh, Baka Thumb. To the 144,000 servants of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, and the remaining elect of the nation of Israel. So pretty much, you know, we've got the brothers together here. You know, we're doing an indoor um, camp session tonight. I'm just going to go straight into prophecy, man, and current events. So, um, so your second Ezra. Yeah, this right? book of Second Ezra, chapter 15, verse 1. Mm -hmm. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy. And who are the Lord's people? The Hebrew Israelites. Who are the Hebrew Israelites? He sold through blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. Primarily over here in North America, Babylon the Great. And this is where the great destruction is going to take place. And this is where the great deliverance is going to take place. And why is that? Because the Israelites, like I said, the Israelites are here, primarily over here in, in America, man, which is Babylon the Great, as is written in, um, what's that, Jeremiah 50. Uh, the house of Judah and the house of Israel were, were oppressed together. So this is where the great destruction is going to take place, but also the great deliverance, man, of the Lord's people. So read that again. Yeah, this is uh, 2 Ezra 15 and 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord. So right now the Lord is speaking unto his people, the Hebrew Israelites. How? Why, why are his servants the prophets, man? That's how the Lord speaks. And the word prophecy means to say before. So we're pretty much speaking on the behalf of our Lord. We're saying things that are going to take place in the very near future that are going to affect you Israelites, whether for the better or for the worse. For the better in the sense that the Lord is going to deliver his elect, the remnant, right? Those that are right in the spirit, and he's going to destroy the wicked of our people. As is written in Ze Zechariah 13, verse 8. And it shall come to pass that in all the land therein, two parts sh shall be cut off, but the third shall be left therein. All right? So we're hoping to be of the, the, the one third, the elect that's going to be delivered here in America. All right? That's who we're hoping to be, man. That's why we're doing lessons like what we're doing right now, mm -hmm. man. That's why we go out there on hours and byways. That's why we're teaching. That's why we're, you know, giving diligence. To be delivered, to be found worthy upon your house shall return, man. So read that one more time from the top. Okay, this is second Ezra chapter 15, verse 1. Mm -hmm. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord, mm -hmm. and cause them to be written in paper. And that's what we have in the form of the Bible. Go ahead. For they are faithful and true. So all the words that we can, you know, that we read in the Bible are faithful and true, man. Everything the Lord said that was gonna take place in the in the future are going to come to pass. We can bank on these words, man, on the visions that our forefathers saw. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Yeah, Isaiah 55, verse 10. Mm -hmm. For as the rain cometh down, and the snow from heaven, and return it not thither, but water of the earth, and make it bring forth and bud, mm -hmm. that it may give seed to the sower, and bread to the eater, so shall my word be, that it go forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing where it I sent it. Yeah, so, like, for instance, let's give you an example. It was the Lord's purpose, right, to bring our people into captivity, right, for our disobedience unto him, for not obeying his laws, statutes, and commandments. You can read more about that in the book of Deuteronomy. But he also said that he was going to raise us up. He was going to have mercy upon our people, as is written in Isaiah 14. I will yet choose Jacob, and I will have mercy upon Jacob, and I will yet choose Israel. So right now, the Lord is showing mercy unto our people by raising up a few good men, right, that he's going to deliver, and women too, you know. We were speaking about that earlier off camera, because there are going to be, you know, certain Israelite women out there that the Lord is going to have mercy upon too. But right now, the Lord's voice is unto his, his you know, his men, okay? That's who he's speaking to right now, man, through his servants, the prophets. Yeah, peace, sir. Go ahead. This is Isaiah 47 and 6. I was wrought about... But wait, wait, wait. I didn't, we didn't finish. Oh, oh, Isaiah oh slack, 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 slack. Go ahead. Yeah, we actually, we actually did. No, no, read one more time. Yeah, read one more time. Isaiah 55, verse 11. Mm -hmm. It reads, So shall my word be that go forth out of my mouth. Mm -hmm. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing where to I sent it. Yeah, so the Lord, all the, all the words of the Lord concerning prophecy... Right, concerning things that are going to take place in the future, they're going to come to pass, man. They're not going to return back onto the void. All right, all these prophecies concerning, you know, World War Three, concerning the, the the return of, you know, his son, his beloved son, Yahweh Shai, with the holy angels, the elect being raised up, America being destroyed, 
prophecy of the mark of the beast. Mm -hmm. Esau bringing about his new world order. All these things that we're, we're, we're speaking about, which is prophecy, are going to come to pass, man. These aren't our own words. They're the words of, of the Lord, man. And that's why they're going to come to pass. I got one more piece up. Right, let's go. The Lord said, he's I, not a man, and he shall lie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Isaiah chapter 14, verse 24. Mm -hmm. The Lord Yahweh of hosts had sworn, saying, Surely as I have thought, so shall it come to pass. Mm -hmm. And as I have purposed, mm -hmm. so shall it stand. Speak on it. Right. So as the Lord Yahweh of hosts had sworn mm -hmm. concerning his words, concerning his prophecies, saying, surely as I have thought, so shall it come to pass, because the Lord is not a man that he should lie. Yeah. And as I have purposed, so shall it stand. Mm -hmm. And so the, the words of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai will surely come to pass. They will surely stand. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. And right now it's the Lord's purpose for the wicked to rule. Right? But surely, you know, the Lord's going to remove the wicked, which is Esau, Edom, Right, these so called white people out of the way, and it's gonna be his purpose for the righteous to rule, which are the, the Hebrew Israelites, beginning with our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai. And he's gonna remove Esau out of the way in a very dramatic fashion, mm -hmm. all right, via great destruction, which is gonna come in the form of nuclear missiles, ICBMs. Right, when he has these different nations come together mm -hmm. out there in the Persian Gulf, out there in the Middle East, mm -hmm. to fight in the, in the battle of Armageddon, man. And that's the time that we're coming into. That's why the Lord said through, uh, what was it, the prophet Zephaniah, wait ye therefore upon me until I gather, na gather the nations to pour upon them mine indign indignation. Mm -hmm. Because the Lord is going to have indignation towards our enemies, man. Beginning with Esau, Edom. For what they've done unto our people. For bringing us into captivity, man. Mm -hmm. Destroying our people. Destroying our people's minds, man. Destroying our spirit. You know? Yes, Bring it out. Real quick. This is uh, Ezekiel 33, verse 33. Mm -hmm. And when this cometh to pass, Lord will come, then shall they know that a prophet has been amongst them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so everything we're saying um, that, uh, that's that been saying for years, like the elders has been pushing this truth for 30 plus years. Mm -hmm. um, myself and other brothers has been putting plenty of years in this work. And everything they're saying is, is actually coming to pass. Like the brother said, um, in which, with like, you know, it's one thing to say it, but when it happens, it's another thing. Yeah. Like, the elders been pushing um, the Russia situation. Russia taking out, uh, over Ukraine and Poland and trying to establish the USSR. Yeah. You know, the United Soviet uh, Socialist Republic. Yeah. And that way, that's going to form, you know, that's going to that's gonna um, usher in uh, Third World's War. Because mm -hmm. right now, there's talks of a no-fly zone and how America's sending... Weapons over there in Ukraine. So right now we're in the middle of the third war, yeah. which the elders been pushing for years, but everybody thought they was crazy. Can't, can't. Yeah, like right now we're in the midst of a of a cold war, but it's gonna it's gonna heat up to a hot war, and when it gets hot, it's gonna turn nuclear. When it turns nuclear, that's when America's gonna be destroyed. That's when these very different parts of the world are gonna be destroyed by by way of ICBMs, man. That's right. And in the midst of that, that's when the Howard Shah's gonna show up. No, that's what we're waiting for, man. That's what we're, we're hastening for. The destruction of America, man. Babylon the Great. And, the, you know, the, the downfall of our enemies. You see, that's not... Yeah, that's not... This is uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 3, mm -hmm. verse 1. It said, to every, everything there is a season mm -hmm. and a time to every purpose under the heaven. And what was that time? Right now, we're in a time of war. Yeah. We're in a time where these prophecies popping off, man. Yeah. The Lord said he, he uh, set, set uh, the measure... We said, um, and um, I got you right now. I'm talking about Revelation, the measure of barley. No, 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 no. I got um, you. I got you. I got you. This is second answer is four. I've got thirty-seven. Yeah, come on, come on. Mm -hmm. There you go. It says, um, <laughs> by measure have ye measured the times, mm -hmm. and by number have ye numbered the times, mm -hmm. and he doth not move nor stir them until the said measure be fulfilled. That's right. Mm -hmm. So. Right now, this is the set measure at the time that we're bring, we're going into as far as we're going into the you know the time of, of war, yeah. the time of uh, Jacob's trouble, yeah. all hell's about to break loose because this is the time. Yeah, you know, twins. The, the brother mentioned you know the apostles, the elders. They would say certain things, you know, 20, 30 years ago, and people would look at them like they're crazy. Yeah. But now you're seeing all these things taking place right now because. This is the set time. Yeah. This is the, the, the time that the most high 
it's, 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 it's bringing things into fruition, man. Yeah, yeah. Hey, just a matter of two years ago, you know, from 2020 to now, so many things has happened in the, in, the, in the time span of that. That that's you know that's showing you that these prophecies, man, they're they're they're, they're coming one after another. Yeah. They're not no longer tarrying. Right, right. You know, right. they're 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 speeding up, man. And the Lord said He's doing it for the elect's sake, man. Yeah. That's why these things are taking place. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's like it. Mm -hmm. um, my brother had brought it up at camp, and he was like, when we was back in thirty fourth days, you would have people that walk walk by the camp. And laugh at the um USSR missile. USSR missile. Yeah, uh, right. Like like it's not a possibility in the yeah, world that yeah. can happen. Mm -hmm. If they yeah. it was one time this guy was like, yo, get a job, you bums. Yeah. You know, a white woman tried to spit on my feet. That was that ten years ago, that was when I was first coming. That that, mm -hmm. that wasn't even talked about. Yeah. That wasn't that wasn't in people's um, you know, foresight. Hey, hey, even hey. a possibility of it happening. Come. So now that we like in this time there's no question. Now it's conversations about oh, yeah. Can it possibly happen? A nuclear war? Mm. Right. Because the fact that they, they was laughing at they was like, oh, the USSR, that don't even exist anymore. Yeah. But see how the Lord got it where, you, you know, the spirit has it where. The prophecy is, make, is, is right. being made manifest. It's being made manifest, man. Yeah. You know? So, hey, man, you're going to know, like the brother brought out, that a prophet has been among you when all these prophecies are coming to pass, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know? You're going to say, oh, those men that was on the, on the corners, on the street corners talking that America's going to be destroyed. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Because why is the corner of the prophecy, man? Yeah. You know? Yeah. Can I quick precept? And, and the, the, the essence or the, yeah, the essence of a prophet the, or the job of a prophet is to say ahead of time, mm -hmm. man, to say before. That's yeah. what the word prophecy right, means, right, right. to speak before. That's right. You know, and that's what the, the men of the Lord have been doing, you know, in the form of, you know, the, our examples, the apostles, mm -hmm. you know, the bishops of Great Millstone, mm -hmm. the elder brothers of Great Millstone. No, they've been prophesying, man. And you Jakes out there, you Israelites out there are going to know that a prophet has been among you, man. Mm -hmm. See, they've been taking what we've been doing light because we look like them, you know. Right. They've just been seeing Jake on the corner. Yeah. But they're going to know, they're going to know that a prophet has been among them, man. Because yep. yeah. everyone's watching. Everyone's yeah. watching, man. Mm -hmm. Everyone's watching, you know, the Hebrew Israelites, especially Great Millstone. Oh, yeah. You know, and without a, a doubt. This is the thing with two-thirds of our people. They don't realize that, see, they see us in the flesh. You know, yeah. they see regular Jacob look, look like them or maybe of a lesser stature. Yeah. Not really realizing that the Lord is actually speaking through them, through us. Yeah. That's why when you read Second Ezra the 15 chapter, the Lord said, What? Behold, speak down the ears right. of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy right. mouth, saith the Lord. Mm -hmm. So these people don't realize, like, just like we always say, we've heard the elders and apostles say it. The Lord's not going to come down from his throne right. and, and go into howers and bowers and prophesy to you people. You looking at the ambassadors of the men of the Lord, okay, um, that the Lord has in the howers and bowers, he's speaking through us. Yeah. And these people don't realize that, but that's how the Lord, see, that's how the Lord having the trick bag, man. Yeah. You see, the Lord always had prophets, you know, uh, prophesying of, down, of, of the downfall of kingdoms and mm -hmm. had our people always stone us and do all types of wickedness. But that is just the... Um, that's the way the Lord has it, man. The Lord said he used the foolish to confound the wise. Right, yeah. And that's our right. people look at us like we ain't shit. But that's how the Lord put a stumbling block in front of you, yeah. man. Yeah. The same thing with Yahweh Shah. Okay? okay. All right? But worshiping Yahweh They looked at Yahweh Shah. They said, well, can any good thing come out of Nazareth? Yeah. Because why? Because he looked just like them. Yeah. Right? He, he, he grew up. He grew up. He's, he's just, ain't that the carpenter's son? Yeah. But yet he was the, the only begotten of the Most High. Yeah. So it's nothing new under the sun. The saint is going on. All right. The Lord said that He sent 144,000 men to go on the highways and byways upon the four corners of the earth to, to, to prophesy and to warn our people of the things to come in these scriptures. Mm -hmm. And only the elect is going to see that these are the, the true men of the Lord, okay, of who they are, and they're going to be sealed. Yeah, quick, quick, quick uh, pre, uh, precept, real quick. This is Ezekiel 21 and 8. It says, Again, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, prophesy. And say, and that's what we do. We prophesy. And what do prophets do? Prophets they prophesy smooth things, man. Prophets, at the, there was a there was fear at one time, man. If a prophet came to your land, it was because you was getting judged, man. Or the Lord, or, or the Lord was telling you that you was getting ready to get judged. If you don't if you don't act up, if you don't get your act together. But what did the Lord say to Ezekiel to do? He said, "What, son of man, prophesy and say, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai." Say a sword, a sword is sharpened, and also furbished. 
What's that talking about, man? Good, bro. And when a sword is being sharpened, when a sword is being wet, you hear a sound. Yeah. Shrink, shrink, shrink. Wow. But, you know, just make, you know, just to serve the example. Because you got to see these things. Exactly. Yeah. Go ahead, bro. So like it says, wet the sword. Right. Mm -hmm. so wet. Just wanted to add it on to what you said. Huh, huh. So it says, son of man, prophesy, say, thus saith Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, say, a sword. A sword is sharpened and also furbished. It is sharpened to make a sword. Now, what's, what sword sword is this talking about, man? This talk ultimately talking about the intercontinental ballistic missiles that a lot of people don't believe is going to happen. Yeah. Just like the elder, um, the elder said, the brother said, ten years ago, people would laugh and scoff, you know, and talk about, oh, well, uh, 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 that that can't possibly happen. America got America's the strongest country ever, you know. Russia, Russia doesn't have those amount of missiles, but what's the cry now? Because a lot of times, you people, okay, you Israelites are going to be get, get the judgment of Esau, Edom, and too late is going to be the crime, man. Mm -hmm. You see, it says, it is sharpened to make a sword slaughter. To make a sword slaughter of what? When you go to Isaiah, the 34th chapter, the Lord has a sacrifice in Basra, man. Mm -hmm. A great sacrifice. And Basra happened to be what? America. Spiritually, man. Well, even before then, it's going to be an invasion here in America, man. You know? They're going to invade this place, man. Yeah. You know? Hey, the scripture said the land of on un, um unwalled villages. Right. It says it is furbished that it may be that it may glitter. Should we then make mirth? And that's the question. Mm -hmm. Should we then make mirth? You got all these other groups talking about uh there's an Israelite party. You know, and it's supposed to be prophets of the Lord warning you so-called black men of Americans that you are the Israelites and that it's time to, it's high time to wake out of sleep and come back to the Lord. Right. Okay, because we we gonna have to go through something like we're saying, man. And we're letting you people know. All right, to prepare yourself for what's to come. Because ain't nothing good coming, man. Yeah, okay? Man, um, yeah, brother. Because a lot of, we, we were watching and keeping up. A lot of you other camps, y'all throwing parties, man. Y'all eating um fried chicken, le fried chicken, leavened bread, <laughs> you know, mac and cheese at your Passover. Like, we, we, we can't forget that yeah, during these times of Passovers, we were leaving, we were coming out of Egypt, and the Lord was killing the Egyptians. So it was it was it was very a dark time at that time. It was a very fearful time. Yeah. To the time that we thought we was gonna lose our life. Yeah. Because we was terrified the Egyptians were gonna kill us. So coming into the time of the Passover is very serious time. Yeah. You know, it, it puts a it puts a spirit of heaviness on you. Yeah. I don't know, I, I don't know, I can't just speak for every brother, but I know my son, anytime Passover comes, it's a time of heaviness for me. Yeah. You know, because it, it's always something fearful that's gonna happen. You know, but, you know, I don't know really got something to say, but essentially we, we come in these times, it's not a time to make mirth because, especially during the time of the Passover, this is very uh, um, serious time, mm -hmm. a very dangerous time, you know? Mm -hmm. yep. It says, it is sharp to make a sore slaughter, it is furbished that it may glitter. Should we then make mirth? It, contempt it contempteneth the rod of my son as every tree. And he hath given it to be furbished. And trees represent people, man. Yeah. Nations, man. And that's what the Lord's going to get ready to do. Burn these trees. All right? As a great sacrifice, man. It says, and he hath given it to be furbished, that it may be handled. This sword is sharpened, and it is furbished to give it into the hand of the slayer. Who's the hand of the slayer? When you go to Revelation, the sixth chapter, talk about Esau, Edom, man. That, that great rare horse that was given to... Um, a great sword. Yeah, it's a peaceful earth. Because look what's going on. You got Esau against Esau, man, because them Russians are Edomites, man. Yeah. Uh, and they're like, furbishing their sword. Yeah, but I got sign for you real quick, huh. since you said that. Uh, this is Genesis chapter 27, and I'll start at verse 38. It says, And Esau said unto his father, mm -hmm. Has thou but one blessing, my father? Yeah, because this is talking about um, the battle of nations, man. Because really, this whole thing is about two nations of men. Yeah. Two nations of people. Yeah. Esau, uh, Jacob, and Esau. Jacob is the progenitor of you so-called black, black of Americans. And Esau, Edom, is the progenitor of the so-called Caucasian race. But they're really the red people. They're really Edomites, man. Mm -hmm. Because when you go to 2nd Ezra 6 and 9, really, when you go to Romans, the ninth chapter, and when you go to 2nd Ezra 6 and 9, it talks about uh, uh, how the world is going to be uh, uh, is going to be basically shaped around these two nations. Yeah, yeah, yeah brother. Yep. It says, and Esau said unto his father, "Has thou but one blessing, my father, 
Bless me, even me also, O my father. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept. Yeah, because why? Because Esau, the Lord, really, there's no repentance for these people, man. Yeah. Okay, so that's that's the nature of the Edomite, man. Okay, to 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 uh to to cry and beg and you know and not be able to take his judgment the way he's supposed to take his judgment. Because why? Because at the end of the day, you disregarded that birthright. But yet and still you want to cry about it. Why he didn't he didn't cry about it because of the actual birthright. He cried about it because he actually knew the, the actual extent of what he has given up at that time. Yeah. You see? Yeah, well, they said uh you don't realize what you got till it's gone. <laughs> yeah. That was one of those moments like, <laughs> yeah. oh shit. Yeah. What? Yeah. I ain't got it no more? Yeah. 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 And that's why today they're trying to fight back for that that birthright, man. That's why they hate you so called Blacks, Hispanic, and Native Americans, man. They want to be them. They want to take on your customs and, you know, act like they're the people, but they're really not. Yeah, but, but it's, what's so heavy is that even though we all got our blessings, Esau blessing is very great, which is going to go into. Mm -hmm. You know, we got, um, yeah, continue on. Mm -hmm. The reason to say, and Isaac, his father, answered and said unto, unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he, he took over he took over a whole bunch of land on the earth. Mm -hmm. And the best parts of the land. Yeah. You know, uh, continue on. I know just the whole land. He took on the whole earth. earth. Yeah, he got the, earth, the whole man. earth. That's how man. we know that it's, it's Esau that's ruling right now because this particular blessing it wasn't given unto any other nation, man. Mm -hmm. Besides the Edomites mm -hmm. and the Israelites, man. Yeah, the earth is given to him to the wicked. Right, exactly. That's right. Even even lands that he don't uh, predominantly dominate, yeah. uh, live in, right. he still has um, authority over him. Yeah. I forget what it's called, but um, like in the islands, they have, uh, they yeah, say like uh, British. Uh, oh yeah, the colonists. Uh, yeah, the British colonists. Um, yeah, you know, vassals. Huh? Vassals. Yeah. Like a like a vassal state. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. they have to answer to them. That's it. Yep. You know. Mm -hmm. Pretty much colonize these these different countries. Right. Yeah. It says um. It says, and Isaac his father answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth, mm. and of the dew of heaven from above, mm. and by thy sword shall thou live. Yeah. And they see, and look, by thy sword. And we can't we can't argue that Esau is the greatest um, you know, pretty much masters of weaponry. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, he's the only nation that was able to successfully create uh, an atomic bomb, a nuclear weapon. You know, he was on. He perfected the sword. Yeah. I mean, if he was to go back thousands of years, he would annihilate all the nations. Cause right now they got um with Russia and Ukraine, they complaining every day about um Ukraine can't stop Russia because they're sending um uh, 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 um artillery, mm -hmm. which is uh, a whole bunch of bombs getting flown through missiles. Oh, Russia's doing that to get to Ukraine. Yeah. Yeah. See. They can't stop artillery fire. Exactly. See. Yeah. They can't prevent a missile from hitting them. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's the sword. Yeah, bro. How much more powerful can you uh, fight if you can't even see your enemy, yeah. which is 500 miles away, and they hitting you with a missile? Yeah. So he's he's perfected. He's he's been blessed heavily, you know, through the power of Yahweh Shimei Asha to perfect the um that technology of a sword. Mm -hmm. You know, and he's the greatest weapon. Yeah. It says. And, thy, and by thy sword shalt thou live, and shall serve thy brother, and it shall come to pass when thou shalt have dominion, and thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. And Esau hated Jacob. Go back up. up. Go back up again. Read right, you. Second. I'm gonna say second. Is Genesis mm -hmm. 27 verse 40. Huh. It says, "And by thy sword shalt thou live." Yeah, by thy sword shalt thou live. That's why these people live by the gun, man. Yeah. Okay. That's why this. That's why. Esau in his experiment, okay, when I say, and the Lord says the biggest hurrah is going to happen here in Babylon, man, the biggest hurrah is going to happen here in Babylon because these devils would uh, live today, uh, these uh, amendments and these constitution, man, and they believe in it, man, and when that when that rug is pulled right under these Edomites' feet, what do you think they can result to? What they've been blessed with? Read that again? It says, and by thy sword shalt thou live. And that's exactly how these Edomites live, man. They live by that sword. They live by the gun, man. But at the same time, the Lord gave him a curse. So your blessing was actually your curse, man. Yeah. You see? Because the same weapon that the Lord used you to conquer nations, this rape, rob, pillage, okay, and overtake, is the same weapon the Lord's going to use to destroy yourself, man. Mm -hmm. 
You see how the Lord gets you? To kill, to kill two birds with one stone? Yep. Go ahead, brother. Yep, it reads on to say, And it shall come to pass, when thou shalt have dominion, and thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. And yeah, because, this, you know, during the time of King David, all right, David, okay, damn near slaughtered all you Edomites, man. Had you in subjection, man. Okay, had his foot around your necks, man. So that's the yoke around around Esau's neck, all right? And it happened a couple times, man, and when it went into the period of a thousand years. Yeah. When the Lord talked about Satan shall be bruised for yet a little, loose for yet a little season. You see? Good, brother. He was bound for a thousand years. He was bound for a thousand years. Yeah, loose for a little season. And he was now. And the loose for a little season is now. Yeah. You see? Going into the dark ages, you know, what Esau calls them, the middle, the middle evil era. Yeah. That's when you had Israelites that were ruling over these Edomites, primarily out there in, in Europe, man. Yeah. That's when the southern kingdom, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, was ruling out there in the known world back then, man. Yeah. You know? It was called the Byzantine era, yeah. the dark ages. Yeah, the Byzantine. Brother. Byzantine, yeah, the Byzantine era. Yeah. Like the brother said, you know, now we're living in that time where Esau, the Edomites, have been let loose for a little season. Yeah. That little season is what, you know, the, the past 500 years, mm -hmm. the past 500 years, mm -hmm. so to speak, that's how long this Edomite has been out ruling, man. Deceiving the nations. Deceiving the nations, Deceiving man. The nations. Deceiving the nations. Yep. Reason to say, Genesis 20, 27 and 40, mm -hmm. um, that thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. And Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing. Yeah, Esau hated Jacob. Okay, so th this is why you know, a lot of people, you got this um, Israelite woman in Ukraine. She's like, I don't understand why. I don't understand. I think she was from Nigeria mm -hmm. or Ghana or something like that. Um, but she was like, I don't understand why we're not in America, but we still receive the same hate from these people from everywhere in the world. Why? Because of this story right here. And if you know, and if these people will listen to the prophets, yeah, you know, they will understand what's going on, man. Mm -hmm. But the Lord says for some for, for referring to Isaiah 6 and 9 that what the Lord has sent a blind blindness, an angel to blind people yeah. in ears that they can't hear, man. Yeah. Because the Lord wants to deal with you, you, you two thirds, man. Yeah. Because why? Because you want to join hand to hand with this devil. But the Lord, these devils are showing their true colors, man. They hate you, man. And until you people realize that the Lord has going to have a great slaughter. Go ahead, brother. Yeah. The reason to say, wherewith his father blessed him, and Esau said in his heart, mm -hmm. here's the point, going back to uh, Ezekiel 21. Yep. It says, the days of mourning for my father I hand, then will I slay my brother Jacob. And that's what's getting ready to happen to you so-called black spans of Americans, man. Jacob's trouble. Mm -hmm. Because these, these devils, these Edomites know they have about a short time referring to Revelation, the 12th chapter, the 12th verse. Yeah. So who do you think they're going to come after, man? Okay, knowing that, that uh, they're not going to receive that. But when they realize that they, they have a short time and they're not going to receive that inheritance, who do you think they come, they're going to come after if they can't come after the most time Yahweh shot? What's the next big, next big thing? The scripture says that um, the dragon went after the yeah, woman, man. Yeah, yeah. Who do you think that's representing, man? Yeah. The elect. But all you so-called black Spanish the Americans going to get it, man. Yeah. Referring to 2nd Ezra 16, uh, 68 all the way down. Yeah, going into Revelation 12, the brother quoted, you know, when the when the dragon came after the woman, going back to 70 AD. Mm -hmm. You know, and the, the Lord said that there's no new thing under the earth, man. So, and the Lord spoke about how to do a time like never before. Yeah. So, all of the atrocities that Esau has done unto our people, whether it be 70 AD, whether it be the transatlantic slave trade, you know, whether it be the trail of tears, you know, what you done unto Gad? Masada. Masada. There's going to come a time like never before, man. That's like what the time that we're coming into is going to eclipse all of those dark times that we as a people went through, man. Yeah. And this is what we're trying to warn our people about. Yeah. And the only thing that's going to keep you stable is what we're bringing out, man. Yeah. These scriptures, as it's written, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of dire times, man. Mm -hmm. That's why it's important to get this knowledge while you can. Because the time's going to come when the Lord's going to remove his prophets... From off of these streets and, on, and from off of the internet, and it's gonna be a famine of the word, man. Yeah. And in that time, if you don't have this truth, you're just gonna be out there, man, mm -hmm. not knowing what to do, making the wrong decisions. You know, just out there, man, left without any understanding, not knowing how to navigate, which is ultimately gonna to lead to your destruction. You know, because during that time, mm -hmm. that's when Esau is gonna, you know, fully come with his uh, new world order. And he's going to present you with that implantable microchip, which is the mark of the beast. Mm -hmm. And if you don't have this truth, you're not, you're not going to know what to do, man. Yeah, 
So like a lot of people freaking out about the uh, gas prices being up. Yeah. Because you know what that trickles down is the high price for everything else. Mm -hmm. So where a guy said, um, you know, a trucker said, prepare, prepare for a family yeah. that um your grocery bills be a thousand dollars more than what you're spending now. Mm -hmm. So right now it's like Jake is already feeling a pinch yeah. of of the judgment, you know? Yeah. yeah, he was like, prepare yourself to pay eleven dollars for milk. A gallon of milk, and you know, once it gets that price, you know what's gonna happen. People's not gonna pay for it, they're gonna take it. Yeah, yeah, that's just getting ready to happen, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. people's we'll, getting ready to take this we'll, thing, man. When we're gonna go back to uh selling ass for, for gas, oh, yeah, man. yeah, they go, they go, people are gonna resort to a very low state to get the basic necessity, yeah, what we took for granted, yeah, you know, not only us, that's why the scriptures say the, the whole entire world, like up there, right, what the sanctions affect uh, Germany. Yeah, and our people that's in Germany and those in uh, the surrounding areas next to Russia, uh, the natural resources, these sanctions kind of like um, drive the prices high, mm -hmm. and that's gonna come here to where something as simple as oh you know you got gas in your house, gas is gonna be a thing that's either too expensive to afford, or or it's gonna, it's gonna be gonna gas at all. Yep, like basic things like wheat, wheat is going is gonna shoot up because yep. uh, Russia, Russia has damn their monopoly on uh, wheat production. So your breads, what we pay now for a loaf of bread is going to triple. Mm -hmm. So these are like beginning of sorrows. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so as we're saying this to Jake, so what's the solution? So we're back to the Lord. That's it. The solution, we, we, no, we're telling, telling you about all these perils, the perilous times that we're coming into you. The solution for that is to turn back into Yahweh Bosh man. Because mm -hmm. he speaks about, if someone can get me real quick, mm -hmm. if you don't mind, Isaiah 10 and verse 20. And I, I do want to add yeah. too. You know, turn it back to the Lord uh, is, is, is a comfort. Yeah. But we all going to have to go through the, um, that, that play, which is going to hit everybody, you know? Yeah. It's going to hit our pockets just like the average man. Yeah. You know, our, we're going we're gonna to have to pay more at the, at the pump mm -hmm. or more for food or not have a job. Yeah, but the, f the thing is that br brothers that's within the truth are going to bug out and they're not going to lean that's right. on the own system. Right, got it. I got it. Right. Got it. Precept. Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 10, verse 20. It says, And there shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel is such the as... The remnant is speaking about the small portion out of our nation, right. which is likened unto the sands of the seas, that Yahweh Bashna Shah is going to deliver. There's billions of Israelites out there, mm -hmm. but the Lord is only dealing with a remnant, a very small portion of our people, right? That's going to have this truth. That's going to have that for what? Right? The Thawar, going back to um, Ezekiel 9, verse 4, that's going to be exempt from the judgments that Yahweh Bashna Asha is bringing upon the earth, man. Mm -hmm. That's who the remnant is speaking about. Go ahead. And, and such as are escaped of the house of Jacob mm -hmm. shall no more again stay upon him that smote them, but... So he's been smiting our people for the past 500 years since he was loosed, right? Who brought our people into captivity? Who stole this land that you know is America? from the tribe of Gad, from the Israelites, from the tribe of Gad, which are you so-called Native Americans, the tribe of Issachar, which are you so-called uh, Mexicans, from the tribe of uh, Reuben, mm -hmm. Ra'awaban, you so-called uh, Seminole Indians, who stole your land? Esau, Edom. Who brought our people, all right, the southern kingdom of Israel, the so-called Negroes, you know, on cargo slave ships, and had us working out there in the, in the fields, man. Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. So this is this is the man that's been smiting our people for all this time, man. So read that one more time again. God. It says, Shall no more again stay upon him mm -hmm. that smoked them, mm -hmm. but shall stay upon the Lord, the Holy One of Israel, in truth. Yeah, so this is speaking about how a remnant of our people are going to re return back to Yahweh Bashna Shai, like the brother said, and they're going to rely. The key word is rely. What it means is to stay means to lean upon someone, right. you know, mm -hmm. to, to, to depend on something. Or to depend on someone. So the remnant are going to depend on Yahweh Bashna Shai to get them through this straight gate. And that's what's so that's what's so important about, you know, the Lord putting the spirit on the elect. Because if you don't have the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yah Shai right. upon you in that time, yeah. in that in that in that day, right? Because the elites, they're gonna they're gonna make it so hard exactly. for the people out here to survive with you're gonna they're gonna basically have no other solution but to get the the the, the you know the corrupt right right yeah because that's what they want mm -hmm. they want it's, it's not by coincidence when you see 
all these things happening, you know, hyperinflation and all this, because that's what they want. They want to crash this economy, yeah. you know, yeah. so they can, you can depend on them and they be a God onto you, right? you know, but what we're saying through the spirit, man, you know, you got to seek the Lord, man, while he may be, may be found, right? Yeah. Because scripture says wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time and mm -hmm. strength of thy salvation. Yeah. When you have these, when you have the wisdom and knowledge of these scriptures, that's what's going. That's what's going to save you, man. That's yeah. what's going to basically have you where you don't you don't fall upon this devil to right. to, to to you know depend on him for your way of of trying to survive out yeah, here, man. Function, you know. Right. But telling you through through the spirit, you got to trust and have faith in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man, because he's going to deliver you. Exactly. You know, the so-called white man is not going to deliver you. This government is not going to deliver you, right. man. You know, this is all bullshit that you see right here. This is all this is man, this is all bullshit, man. Hey, a part of curses is that um who's gonna go to our enemy for the want of all, all things. things. Right. So like you said, we're coming to that time where Esau's gonna, you know, bring about his new old order, you know, this cash society, and you're gonna be put in a position, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, to do certain things, whether it be go to work, mm -hmm. you know, be treated at hospitals, doctors, dentists, so on and so forth. And you're going to be put in a predicament. You know what? The only way to, to do that, to access these things in his society is via the chip, yeah. via the karagma, yep. via the mark of the beast. Yep. And if you go ahead and, you know, get down with that program, what's the answer? You're going to be destroyed, man. Yeah, that's it. Uh, but it's, okay. yeah this is the second edge. is nine. And um, 20, I'm going to start with 20. Matter of fact, oh, 19. For then every one obeyed, but now the manners of them which are created in this world that is made are corrupted by a perpetual seed. And what's that? How are they corrupted by the perpetual seed? Esau, Edom. Because who has, who, who did the Lord set, okay, to be the end of the world? The wicked. Esau, Edom, right? Yeah. It says, and by a law which is unsearchable, rid themselves. So I considered the world, and behold, there was peril because of the devices that were come into it. Mm -hmm. What are these devices that these devils are trying to do? We know about the MOTB, right? That's what it talks about. Those are one of their, the scripture says, 2 Corinthians 2 11, we're yeah. not ignorant of Satan's devices. Yeah. And when I actually go um, into that word device, um, I, um, I, I roughly paraphrase him, but it's basically talking about them, them thinking about doing something, you know, uh, real evil. Yes, yeah, an know? evil, it's, it's uh, translated as an evil purpose. An evil purpose, yeah. that's it, the water. Right? Yeah. Check this out. So it says, and I saw and spared it greatly, and have kept me a great of the cluster, mm -hmm. and a plant of a great people. Who's that talking about? The elect. Yeah. Because the Lord said, okay, that he, had, he has raised 7,000 men that will bow down to Balaam, man. Yeah. Okay? Baal. Baal. Shalakia. Yeah. Yeah. Ba ba Baal. All right? And who would, what? And that's talking about the elect. The Lord has certain people that's just not going to get down with this system. Yeah. So look what the Lord said after that, right? Right? And he said, and he called that, that great cluster a plant of a great people. You see? Yeah. Look what he said, 22. Let the multitude perish then, which was born in vain. And let my great be kept and my plant. For with great labor have I made it perfect. Meaning what? Yeah, we all going to go through jails of trouble. But we're not going to catch hell like how you niggas going to catch hell, man. Oh, Two thirds of our people going to catch hell. Just like Apostle Gabar said, man. Jacob's trouble wasn't made for um for us. It was made for two thirds. Yeah, we're gonna have to go through the fire, but the fire is only gonna refine us. Because why? Because the Lord has kept that great cluster. The Lord won't be right. up that number. That's right. The Lord has kept that great cluster for Himself. Yeah, it's, gonna, it's not worse than uh, catching hell. You don't know what the hell is going on. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, it's not. It's no worse feeling than that. Yeah. I think that's worse yeah. than catching the hell. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. it's mental. It's, yeah. you know, it's yeah. mental. It's a mental Absolutely. torture. That's why the scripture says, "Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and the strength of salvation." Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai is the um is his treasure. Mm -hmm. You see, the name of the Lord, okay, is a very important thing, man. That a lot of people take for granted, yeah. but it, but it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna pay off. Hey, just like we always say, our spiritual bank account is about to be used, man. Yeah. Okay, because we've been building a spiritual bank account yeah. through what through the scriptures, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, man. We know what's gonna happen. You people ain't ready, man. And we see it day by day. We see Jake walking around here with no kids in the world, having a good old time, not knowing that death is not, man. Yeah. And that's why it's important to invest. Like it's it's important to be, you know, doers of the word and be active in the ministry, man. You know, because that's you investing. Yeah. You know, 
They're See, sacrificing. Yeah, because they, they, they don't they don't they don't come in the truth because it's very uncomfortable. Yeah. You know, yeah. this truth is uncomfortable, man. It's, 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 straight game. it's a straight game. Yeah. Yeah. You know, now is the now is the way to uh, lead it to salvation. Yeah, yeah. Broad is the way that leads to destruction. Mm -hmm. And Jake don't want to hear about it. Yeah. They want to hear Israelite party. That's right. that's comfortable. Smooth thing. Smooth thing. That's, smooth thing. Yeah, man, yeah. that's our people, man. Yeah. Itching ears. Yeah, itching ears, man. That's why the church. That's why it's mega churches and, and the church industry is an industry. Yeah. Billion dollar industry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You see a lot of them. They leaving the church now, though. You know, since since the prophets. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, been bringing the real truth out because a lot of your, a lot of your pastors they can't break down. You know, prophecy, man. Yeah. When it comes to what's going on right now, a lot of your your your, your so-called pastors, man, they don't even know. You they, ain't got they the answers, exactly, exactly. Yeah. They don't. They don't, they don't have the answers, man. Yeah. You know, because yeah. this thing is a mystery, man. And and what the scripture says, blessed are ye, when you know what I'm saying. Um, when you you understand these things, man. Yeah. You know that's why the Lord spoke in parables, man. Yeah. You know certain men, you know, because he didn't want it. all of Israel to, to receive it. Blessed are your eyes for they see. see. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know? And if you, if you make, can you quickly go back to where you was at? You want to go? Um, Ezekiel? Or you want uh, to where was it? It was in Second Ezra. Where are you just reading from? Yeah, the Great Cluster? Yeah. I got it. That's a knife. That's a knife chapter. Yeah, Second Ezra 9. Um, you want me to go back to the top? Or you want to go? From the top. Okay, this is Second Ezra 9 and 20. So I considered the world, and behold, there was peril because of the devices that were come into it. Mm -hmm. And I saw and spared it greatly, and have kept me a grape of the cluster. Mm -hmm. and the plant of a great people. Let the multitude perish then, which was born in vain, and let my great be kept and my plant, for with great labor have I made it perfect. And as the Lord laboring, he's That's doing true. it through his men, man. You know? He's doing it through his men. Bro, I've got a quick link up. Yeah, yeah, make your point. Yeah, yeah, make your point. Yeah, yeah. Because at one point, that plant which represents us, yeah. or like not the degenerate, yeah. degenerate plant, the degenerate vine. But through the washing of the word, yeah. which is like not the water, the Lord rejuvenated us, mm -hmm. rehydrated us, yeah. and now we are alive through him. Huh. And that takes what? Labor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not going to talk to Lord because the Lord likened Israel unto a vineyard. Mm -hmm. A vineyard is, is a place where grapes are grown. Mm -hmm. Because according to the law, you, t you, you take your grapes, but you have to leave a cluster yeah. on the vine for the poor. Right. That's in the law. You go in your vineyard, but well, guess what? You have to plant seeds first in, a, in the soil mm -hmm. to grow the plants yeah. so that it can bring forth fruit. Yep. But throughout the process, you have to make sure that it's Water. watered, it's taken care of. Yep. You, yep. Gotta till it. you have to till the land, yep. ridge the land, if mm -hmm. you know what the farming and all these different mm -hmm. things. And now all that takes great labor. Mm -hmm. That's why the Lord hired what? Husbandmen. Yeah. Yeah. Husbandmen are managers of a farm. Yeah. Also, when you go into the etymology of the word husbandmen, it also means the management of a household. And the Lord likens his elect unto a house. That is the house of David. And his elect unto sheep in which his shepherds, his prophets, have been assigned to look over. Mm. Keep watering them. Keep watering those plants. The Lord, you know, gives the increase. Well, let me follow you up now. This is Ephesians 4 verse 11. It says... And he gave some apostles yeah, the spirit. <laughs> and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers. Why? For the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Hamashiach, the anointed. So that's why the Lord... Like, wait. Bring it out. No, go ahead, go ahead, bro. Please. Yeah, it go says for the perfecting. Read that, read that again. Please, for the perfecting <laughs> of the saints. It says for the work of the ministry. Now call it again. Call it and read it. Ephesians 4, verse 12. Mm -hmm. For the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, mm -hmm. for the edifying of the body of mm -hmm. the anointed. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty much what the Lord is doing right now. He's raised up his servants, the prophets, mm -hmm. some teachers, mm -hmm. uh, apostles. Evangelists, so on and so forth. Why? For the perfection of the saints. Mm. Who are the saints? The Israelites. Those that were sanctified, man. Mm. I know the sanctified, sanctified from the very beginning. Mm. That were with Yahweh Shai wow. in the very beginning. That's who the Lord is dealing with, man. That's who he's perfecting right now. That's right. And when you go into that word uh, edifying, what does it mean? It means to build. Yeah. Going back to the brother's point. Yeah. The Lord is rebuilding the house of David right now, man. Mm. Yeah. As is written. What's that? Amos, and, Amos 9, right? Yeah, I will, I will Amos 9 and 8. 
Yeah, I have it. Go. Nine eleven. I got it. I got it. Paraphrase it, but that's what yeah. the Lord is rebuilding right now. The house of David, man. And which we're hoping to be a part of. Right. And it takes great labor. Mm -hmm. Because the scripture says with great labor. Right. Mm. And that's, a, that's the theme of the point that we're mm -hmm. making. Mm -hmm. To the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemiah mm -hmm. The Lord is, is, is building all this to the spirit with great labor. Yeah. As it is written. And when you speak about labor, you know, like you said, it, it, it takes a lot of effort. And what we're involved in, and what you're seeing right now on the YouTube concerning, you know, the, the Great Awakening, this goes, this, this is a legacy, man. Mm -hmm. right. You know, this has been happening since, you know, our forefather, Abba Bimmons, was on the scene, man. Right. Which, if yeah. you can receive it, that's Elijah the prophet that you read about in Malachi 4, verse 5, man. Yeah. So this has been happening for decades, decades on end, where the Lord has been laboring, you know, trying to rebuild his people, right. rebuild the house of David, man. Right. Mm. You know? Because each member is lighting onto a lively stone. Yeah. And... The way that the Lord had instructed King Solomon to build a temple yeah. was very specific. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. The Lord does things in in, in, sp in specific ways, very detail oriented mm -hmm. ways. Yeah. Yeah. So purposeful, purposeful right, ways. Right. So this spiritual temple, the third temple, which is spiritual, which is being built right now, even as we speak, yeah. has been designed by the Lord, has been architectured by the Lord in a very specific way. And we read about that in 1 Corinthians, the 12th chapter. Mm -hmm. yeah, and also in the scripture that you just um, read in Ephesians. Mm -hmm. Yeah, before and 12. Yeah, they, um, but but a, lot of, a lot of people can't get it because the, the Jewish state, they say they're trying to build the third temple in Israel. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, what the fuck you talking yeah, about? This is a spiritual right? thing. Spiritual. Yeah. Spiritual. This is spiritual. At first, you ain't the Israelites, but anybody, because Donald Trump was saying that, oh, Jerusalem, yeah. we need to take over um, Palestine that, yeah. so they can build the third temple. Now the third temple is spiritual starting with Israel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, when we built, you know, a house to the Lord. Yeah. Spiritually. Yeah, the Lord says it can be made without hands. Yeah, yeah. I got I got some. Uh, Ezekiel 30, 37 verse 1. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the hand of the Lord was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley, which was full of bones. Mm -hmm. You know, that's talking about <laughs> well, it's gonna it's gonna get into it. It caused me to pass by them round about, and behold. There were very many in the open valley, and lo, they were very dry. Mm. That's, that's talking about America, man. Mm -hmm. You know, because America is what? It's, it's, it's a, speak up, bro. It's speak a up, valley. Speak, speak up, speak up. It's a valley between two mountains, right? Mm -hmm. It's a, a land between two mountains. So that's talking about here in America. All these all these uh, spiritually dead Israelites that you see, yeah. you know, they don't. They, they don't have. They don't have the spirit of the Lord upon them, man. So they're they're spiritually dead, man. And it tells you that in uh, Revelation eleven chapter, mm -hmm. you know that um somebody can get that. Yeah, right, right, verse right. eight. Almost. So like you also when um in in, in, in the curses, it's going to say you should grow up at noonday, mm -hmm. meaning even when the sun is out, when you grow for something means you're looking for something. Right. right. Exactly. So that's a part of the curses that befell Israel. Yeah. Uh, in Deuteronomy. Right. That they should grow up in noonday, meaning you have lack understanding. Yeah. So that's a part of also being a dry bone. Right? Yeah, right, right. Like, you know, in the world, they say, oh, you're a bonehead. You you know what I'm saying? You're a yeah, bonehead, yeah, yeah. meaning you're stupid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, Apostle Hull went into that this week when he, when he went to, um, when you grow up in the noonday, specifically in Deuteronomy 28 chapter, um, the 15 verse all the way down. And just like the brother said, it's mean you're looking for something. Now, what was Jake looking for? They were looking for the truth. Okay, they'll grow up in the noon and go into these mosques, go into these yeah. churches, you know what I'm saying? Some are Seventh day Adventist, some are, you know, Jo Jehovah Witness, some are Protestant, <laughs> some are Methodist, mm -hmm. you know. But they but they, they didn't find it, man. But they elect, man. Hey, yeah, what's five, it's like five, five percent, percent is, yeah. what's the what's the uh mathematics of today's what's the math? Uh, I mean it all it all revolves around um finding the truth. And I can speak for every brother here. Before we was getting into it, we was looking up UFOs, Illuminati. We try yeah. to piece it together. Yes, be worse. Yep. A lot of a lot of our people, they they can't get that final puzzle piece. Mm -hmm. And you know, when you find the truth, something just click. Like, all right, this is it. This yep. is it. This is it. Yeah. Because they a lot of a lot of a lot of a lot of um, you know, the Lord didn't give that final puzzle piece to a lot of our people, which mm -hmm. all Israel is seeking for the truth. You know, whether it's, oh, let me go to college, maybe I gotta get a degree, or I gotta do this, or I gotta, Muslim. Yeah, it's all, I mean, it's all in vain anyway, because 
<laughs> when it comes down to it, you you spend all your time dibbling, dabbling in all these philosophies and, and whatnot, and <clears throat> that ain't got nothing to do. That's that's far from the truth, you know. And you find out you wasted <laughs> most of your time, you know, like going into these things, and you know, it's just a, it just um, what it says. Uh, what it says um, about um, ever learning and never coming into the truth. Never coming into the truth. Yeah. yeah. So because the scripture says, old tables. Are full of vomit, <coughs> and the Lord commanded us to give now our pearls, cast on our pearls before swine, right, right, right. and two thirds of the nation of Israel liken unto swine, mm -hmm. which eat it at every table, which is full of vomit. Mm -hmm. In other words, they eat anything that they hear. <coughs> eat means to study, so they study every single philosophy, five percent of philosophy, Hinduism, Buddhism, just as a pig would eat anything. Just like that video you spirit had you put up, but the guy he just threw. Yeah. Um, you know, dead carcass at, at oh, two yeah, pigs and they were just eating it up. Mm -hmm. That's how two thirds are like, man. They they like pigs that just eat anything at any table, full of vomit. So I got a quick precept. Mm -hmm. This is Isaiah uh, Romans, excuse me, chapter eleven, uh, verse seven. So. What then? Israel had not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election had obtained it, and the rest were blinded. Exactly like what Israel Israel is seeking for the truth, man. You know, you got our people talking about we don't know who we are. You know, we don't know where we come from. You know, they taught us that we were, you know, Africans. yeah, Africans. We, Africa. Yeah, we were monkeys um, swinging on trees and stuff like that. So our people. Well, they told you the truth, and in, in I'm sorry. Yeah, no, 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 no. They, t they told you. I was right. saying that, um, you know, Esau didn't give you the full truth because our people did come from Africa, all right, in the sense of we was living in Africa, but yeah. before we got to Africa, where was we at? It yeah. was in the land of Israel. That's where that's we are actually thing. from. Yeah, well, that's not our birth. That's not our. That's that's not, our, that's not where we originate from. Right. We're not originally <clears throat> Africans. Right. We're Hebrew Israelites. But Esau didn't give you that full truth, man. Well, he ain't gonna give you the truth anyway. Nah, he's a damn liar. Yeah, he's the father yeah. of it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. right. Yeah. So he yeah. fled into Africa. Yeah, man. And be and be, and be uh, hid from um, Roman persecution. It started in seventy A.D. Yeah, which is called the diaspora. But it says Jerusalem. Jerusalem is above all, the yeah. mother of us all. Galatians 4 and um, 26. So it's, some, um, it's the definition of this compact Bible dictionary of Ham. And it says the youngest son of Noah, born probably about 96 years before the flood. And one of the, the eight persons to live through the flood. And as you know, this is the time of Noah. Uh, these, these are the uh, people that, that, that escaped the flood. And this is Ham, you know, one of his sons. Mm -hmm. So he became a progenitor of the dark races. Progenitor means the father of the right. dark races, right. not the Negroes. Mm -hmm. So it's so it's clear. It's, it's telling you clearly it's a distinction between the dark nations. Exactly. And it says not the Negroes, because mm -hmm. Negroes are, belong to the Lord. It's children of Israel. Right. It says, but the Egyptians, the Ethiopians, Libyans, Canaanites. There you go. So this. <clears throat> you want to go back to somebody that? Somebody want Revelation 11 to 8 or something like that? I think you want to Revelation. Oh, yeah, that was the back on uh, Ezekiel 37. Yeah, let's go back to Ezekiel 37. Let's go back to that. Yeah, back in Ezekiel 37, verse uh, 3. Mm -hmm. He said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? So pretty much the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, showed um, the prophet Ezekiel a vision of the Hebrew Israelites in a dead state, right? He saw them as bones, as dry bones, which represents death. And that's pretty much yeah. the state that our people have been in, mm -hmm. especially over here in America. That's why the brothers is calling for it. Revelation 11, verse 8, where it goes into that. Go ahead. This is Revelation chapter 11, verse 8. And their dead bodies shall lie in the streets of the great city. Now, these people, you know, physically dead, which, you know, on a level, that's true, because our people are getting murdered, you know. Throughout the, you know, throughout the states, throughout, throughout America, but this is really going to spiritually. Our people are spiritually dead. They spiritually don't know who they are. So in the sight of the Lord, you know, they, these people are calling themselves blacks. They're calling themselves African Americans. They're referring to themselves as Jamaicans, as Trinidadians, as Grenadians, mm -hmm. right? As Puerto Ricans, as Dominicans, as Mexicans. The list goes on. That's as Native Americans. You got that? Real quick. Yeah. Proverbs 21, verse 16. Mm -hmm. The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. And this is what happened to all of our people, all right? The, the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom of Israel. You so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, 
the Israelites who are supposed to have this knowledge, we wanted out of the way of this understanding. Therefore, we're spiritually dead. Mm. You see, when you call yourself black, you're yeah, spiritually you're dead. dead. From the when you call yourself, yeah, from the neck up, <laughs> starting with the tribe of Judah. Right? But what does black mean, though? Doesn't it mean? You know, you know what black actually means? It means wicked. So well, that's what that's what that, that's what yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's one of that's one of the one one of the negatives. That's one of the synonyms. Crazy for man. for the word black, but it's wicked. That's one of the synonyms. Man. See, oh, they got <laughs> black 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 power. Before we yeah. keep jumping around, where we at? Ezekiel thirty-seven, and I'm reading Revelation eleven and eight. Yeah, finish that out. Okay, this is Revelation eleven and eight. And it says, and that their bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, mm -hmm. which is spiritually called Sodom in Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. So this great city is speaking about where? America, man. Yeah, man. This is where our people are spiritually bugged out, both the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom of Israel, not knowing who they are. And this place, America, promotes what? Homosexuality, which is where, you know, it goes back to Sodom and Gomorrah and, the, you know, the neighboring cities. That's what you have here in America, man. That's why transgenderism is our all time over here in America. You know, being gay rights. You know, gay rights is an all time over here in America. And what does Egypt represent? What does Egypt represent? It represents bondage, Rogers. man. And this is where our people have been enslaved together as a people, in captive in captivity together as a people, man, as an as a nation, just as we were in ancient Egypt. That's why again it says in Jeremiah 50, verse 33. The house of Israel and the house of Judah shall be oppressed together. together. You know? That's speaking about over here in America, man. Babylon sure. the Great. Go ahead. It says, uh, this is uh, John chapter 5, verse 25. It says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, the hour is coming, and now is, when the dead mm -hmm. shall hear the voice of the Son of the Most High, and they that hear shall live. Shall live. That's bad. You know? Hey, that's what we're going into, man. You know? The dead, the dead. Because we, we were all one time dead, man, right. you know? But now the Lord has quickened our spirit, yeah. you know, to, to, you know, be awoken through this word, you know? Yeah. And that's what you're going to see, that you got, you got certain men that are going to wake up from that dead state, you know? And, and, and uh, you know, basically be delivered, man. That's what everyone's seeing, man, throughout, throughout the world right now. You know, the different Israelite camps that are, you know, being raised up through the spirit, you know, brothers now surnaming themselves as being, you know, Israelites, knowing what tribe they're from according to, you know, the prophecy that we're going into is equal 37, yep. according to the, you know, the sign, the, the, the 12 tribe chart sign, in which that's all spiritual, man. Yeah. You know? Yeah, that's all. <laughs> I mean, Esau hear that and it's, it's, it's like, it's dangerous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. oh, <laughs> shit. Right. As right. soon as he turned his back, I'm going to stab him. Like, <laughs> he went, this is the type of knowledge, if you know it, you're supposed to kill him. Yeah. yeah. Because once Israel start waking up, I you know it. that it's over. I got it. All right. This is Revelation 11, 11. Yeah, yeah. And after three days and a half, the spirit of life from the Most High entered into them, and they stood upon their feet. There you go. And great fear fell upon them which Ooh. saw them. Because they know that, that, by, by us realizing who we are, there's the end of this world, their world. Yeah. And, and not only the end, but the transition is going to be terrible for them. Yes. Because the scriptures tell you all throughout the scriptures that the Lord is going to be a ruthless uh, Lord. And that we're going to take vengeance against you. Mm -hmm. So that's why they, they blackball us. They give us no media press. And if they do, they speak negatively about us. They, they always twist our message to seem like we're evil or terrorists. You know, they flag our channels because when Israel wakes up to this knowledge, the game's over. Yeah. Yeah. He that leadeth into captivity shall go okay, captivity. into captivity, man. And yo, Esau think about that every day. That's why, when, when, especially when it's Judah or Benjamin, you know, the dark skin tribe, it's, every time you walk down the street, they flinch up. Yeah. They get scared. You're on the elevator with them. They, they clutch up because it's always in the back of their mind. Mm -hmm. You know, fuck yeah. these people over. Yeah, man. Yeah. It's always in the back of their mind. Like, yeah, right. it's just innate in them. Yeah, it is. Like, so yeah. that way they know, like, all right, if there is a God, which most Edomites don't believe in a God, but they say, if there is, uh, I know we're going to have to pay for this shit. Uh, one day, uh, you know? Because uh, these devils believe in karma, right? Yeah. <laughs> and that's why what happened in Ukraine is going to happen on a global scale. Because that wasn't supposed to happen. That's why they're tripping up. Man, I see, you know, uh, 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 White people with blue eyes and, and blonde hair being blown to pieces. Like, mm -hmm. 
that's going to be a new reality very soon. Yeah. Thus saith the Lord. Yeah. That's right. You got a piece of bread, brother? Yeah. Good. This is the book of Malachi, chapter 4, verse 1. It reads, <clears throat> For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, mm. and all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. And the day that cometh shall burn them up, save the Lord Yahweh of hosts, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. Yeah, that's heavy how the Lord said, Behold, the day shall come that shall burn the oven. It's not talking about your modern day oven, man. When you go into the ancient oven in those times, you know when you put a loaf of bread, it's done in five minutes. Yeah. So what type of what type of technology, okay, is gonna have hey, when you go to Second Peter's 310, it says that all the elements shall be burnt up, roughly paraphrasing, man. Refurbing heat. That's talking about intercontinental ballistic missiles, man. All right? Right? That's why the scripture says 200,000, thousand. And those are talking about warheads, man. Mm -hmm. That's what's going to make this place burn as an oven, man. It's going to cook. Disintegrate. It's going to cook, man. Everything's going to be dust. Disintegrate, man. Let's be warning you people about, man. This is not no play play. It's not no game, man. All right? And the Lord's going to keep your spirits in there, too, man. Because a lot of you people say, oh, I, I've heard. Edomites and Jake say this. Well, oh, if the nuclear war, you know, with that fire, just be out of here. You're, you're within a couple of seconds. You know what I mean? You're not going to feel it. <laughs> well, it's true, but... <laughs> yeah, but the Lord's going to keep his spirit in there, <laughs> yeah. man. Yeah. The, the, that's what it said. The, the scripture says it's going to be weeping and gnashing of teeth, man. Yeah. That's what the scripture's talking about. Because a lot of you people think, all right, that you can, um, that you can, um, uh, that you can supplant Yahweh by Shimei Shai, man. Mm -hmm. That you can, that you, you know, well, one Jake... Before I came to the truth, when I was coming, he's like, just be glad you're an Israelite. I'm like, just be glad I'm an Israelite. I'm trying to be part of 144,000. Because Jake is Jake is, is, is content, man. Yeah. Jake, Jake wants the best of both worlds, but you can't have two, man. All right? You're going to have to pick a side, man. And that's coming real soon, referring to Revelation 3.10. Because a lot of you people, all right, that don't necessarily bring about what the MOTB is, or wants to say, or, or want to think in your mind, that you know what, I'm going to take it out, or, or however you want to supplant the Lord, you about to be had in derision, referring to 2nd Exodus 16th chapter, man. Yeah, but, um, it said they're not going to wake up until um, the, the, the missiles detonate. To the day they see them flying in the sky. Yeah. It's going to it's gonna be a real reality check for a lot of people. Lord willing, we pray that we, we, that. we're looking from an aerial view, looking down, because... Yeah. That's going to be the day where people are going to wake up when they see them things flying in the air. Yeah. It ain't no turning back. Yeah. I mean, at that time, you're praying, you're crying, you're hugging, you're screaming at the top of your lungs. Yeah. Up, in, up until they hit ground zero, it, you see that blue light, a flash, and within within seconds, you, you vaporize. Yeah. You know, just like uh, what happened in Japan. And they're still feeling the effects of that uh, Hiroshima and Nagasaki. So that's going to be a day where... Um, People are going to really realize the anger of the Lord. And that was just an atomic level. We talking about a nuclear, nuclear level. Man. War. Like fusion war. and fission, man. Yeah, when you go into war. fusion, all right, and fission, those are two very uh, destructible um, sources, man. You know? I got, let's, uh, let's go. Let's run finish that out. Uh, yeah, finish it, finish it. Yeah, so I got the death uh, of the Esau death of the after that. Already from the top. It says, from yeah. behold, the day cometh. That shall burn as an oven. Yeah, so that's talking about the intercontinental ballistic missiles, man. Okay, that you see the Israelites on the highways and byways with a billboard. Okay, that showing you missiles, USSR. Okay, that's what we talking about, good brother. Oh, well, like, did not, did not, um, Putin just say, uh, act up, act up. If you come to to Ukraine's help, I'm prepared to launch these missiles. Yeah. So I mean, it's not we're not too far off of what we're saying. Yeah. And then the Lord. Um, uh, 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 Israelite from Ghana, I think he's a pastor too, and he, like he definitely listens to um the apostles. All right, he so he had a dream of Russia um destroying America in thirty minutes, man. Okay, how about that? Because in the same thing, press I don't know if it's the same press conference with Putin, but Putin said, all right, if America makes the first strike, they said within seconds they have technology within seconds. As soon as 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 soon as you push that button. They're pushing the button. And they said before you people can repent, talking about the United States, America, Americans, he said before you can repent, you can be in the spirit world, man. Now that was the Lord right there, man. Because why the, the Lord, is he has that hook around Russia, man. And what and what he's going to do with Putin? 
he gonna have him think an evil thought, man. Yeah, he's, and he's already meditating on that evil thought, yeah, man. He's, 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 he's definitely Gog. <laughs> he might be Gog, the Prince of uh, Megahog. Come on. Yo, let me bring this out real quick. This is uh, First Thessalonians 5, verse 1. It says, But the times and the seasons, brethren, you have no need that I write unto you, for yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord shall, shall so cometh as a thief in the night. What's the time and seasons? Yeah, I was I talked about times and seasons. You know what time is going. You know when it's going to be weather. Um, when it's winter, when it's going to be spring. When spring turn into summer. You tell. You can tell when the, with the. You know when the leaves start to. Um, um, the trees start to bud. Before. You know. You know it's going to be fall. How much more the times of the end, man? Mm -hmm. And the coming of the Son of Man. Yeah, I was shot. Yeah. Go ahead, brother. Another thing is that it's going to come as a thief in the night. You see, World War Three isn't going to be like. <sighs> months on end of nuclear missiles being shot all over the globe no. it's gonna happen in one hour wow it's gonna happen just like that Yo, that's that's what the the, the the jake saw in his dream and that's what the apostle john saw in his vision he saw america being destroyed within one hour on and a particular books. day in and a particular said. year in a particular month in a particular day within a particular hour is america going to be destroyed oh so what movie was that when um all, all, i think it was just a regular day the, the knowing. Was, What's the knowing? Day after tomorrow. Was it the day after tomorrow? I think it's the day after tomorrow. And they just see missile flying. Okay. Like, it's just a regular, yeah. a bloomy, yeah. you know, right, sun right, is right, out. Right. It's the afternoon, yeah. beautiful day. Yeah. And next thing you know, it's just a whole bunch. It looked like right. serpents, like, yeah. like the, how the prophets describe it. They're yeah. flying. Wasn't that Terminator? The, um, I'm the not last one? I, gotta, I, I forgot. That was Terminator. Because they didn't see it coming. It was a regular, normal day. And that's how exactly it's going to be, bro. That's how it's going to be. Exactly. He's going to catch people off guard. Because mm -hmm. Esau's going to come with this new world order. He's going to come with the chip, right? Yeah. Everything's going to be as normal. Life is going to go on. And then one day, the news is going to be shot, man. Yeah, 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 and yeah. you need to know that the signs of how that's going to actually play out, you know, on the earth. Yeah, 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 the yeah, the prophecies. Be, that's why I said, just like in the days of Noah. Yeah, yeah. Be, yeah. Uh, people going to be yeah, eating yeah, and drinking right, and yeah, marrying and yeah, getting right, married. Yeah, right. All the way until the flood came. So right. the same, the, the same concept that's going to be when the Lord comes back. Mm -hmm. People are going to be doing whatever they want to do. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You know, yeah. partying and bullshit. And right when the, the missiles crack, then yeah, they're going to be oh parties. shit. Yeah, everything. I mean, it's going to yeah. be a real hot zone. Like you know, yeah. prices, inflation, and and wars in the streets. And then it's going to it's going to have a calm. Oh, when I speak about that. See, while you people are fixating on the appreciation of gas prices, mm -hmm. Esau in the background is continuously depreciating the value of the dollar mm -hmm. that you use to buy gas for your trucks, your trailers, your cars, your vans, your jeeps, so on and so forth. So if the purchasing power of the dollar, meaning that its value continues to, to depreciate, then what's gonna happen? You're gonna have to spend more for gas, that's going to continuously increase in itself. So they got you really in a trick bag as well. <laughs> they really got you in a, in a trick bag, man. Just wanted to add, you know, that point yeah. to the spirit. Yeah, because it's like the inflation, basically. Yeah, inflation. it's going to be like a domino effect. Like well, everything, what is, everything is going digital. So look, you just had Biden just sign off on the, you know, yeah, yeah, making, yeah. making it where they, they're trying to find a way on how to tax, you know, uh, see, cryptocurrency, see, yeah, cryptos you know? Yeah. So that's a matter. That's a matter. Of just you know, when the Lord will have it. With, hey, this is the same man that remember when he was senator, mm -hmm. and he was saying that they was you know they was going to have a bill passed yeah, with yeah. you know under that, mm -hmm. that judge tenure that he's going to sign on. And th this man right now, twenty twenty two, you know, yeah, come on. fast forward to twenty twenty two. He's the president. Yeah, so man. now he has the power to do so, yeah. which we believe through the spirit. Hey, Lord willing, this man might be the, that dude mm -hmm. to bring in, the, the, bring in the, that, mm -hmm. that, that, that CHRP, man. Yeah. Okay. You know? Well, well, See, well, um, well. Um, this is uh, the 1994 crime law. Okay. Joe Biden, mm -hmm. which was um, very geared heavily towards persecution of Judah. Yeah. Oh, you don't vote for me, you ain't black. Yo, Esau's yeah. a serpent, yo. Yeah, Anytime yeah, Esau's, he's on Tommy's talk, mm -hmm. you just gotta, you gotta imagine a, 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 a snake tongue coming out of his yeah. mouth, man. Yeah. Enemy, this is the same guy a few years back uh, um, created the, the 1994 crime bill. Yeah, he did. Which is heavily um, yeah. persecuted a, a Judah, yeah. the tribes. Yeah. Yeah. So, vote Mr. Bob. Mm -hmm. And presidents aren't elected, they're elected. Yes, sir. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, so you crazy. niggas out there that believe that your vote counts, oh man, you gotta vote. You know, my forefathers, you know, they died yeah. so that you can vote. The right. The voting rights. You know, voting rights. You simple niggas. You bird, vote. You simple minded nigga. Negro. Nigga. I got some real quick. First Thessalonians 5 and 3. For when they should say peace and safety, then sudden destruction should come upon them. Is that not what they're saying? They're saying peace and safety, man. They don't talk about the COVID no more. They don't talk about oh, that. No, oh, don't say that. Don't we can't forget yeah, about that. Uh, <laughs> words, man. Yeah. They stop us mid live. Yeah, but um, at the end of the day, man, that's what they're saying, man. They're saying peace and safety. But just like the brother was saying, they're not going to let you know when the missiles fly, man. They're not going to let you know when the dollar's going to crash, man. Because please believe this dollar will crash, man. All right? Because, but just that you have to envision this thing like, like a balloon. How much more you keep on you gonna keep on blowing hot air yeah. with these quantitative easings and all this type of stupidness and and just like the brother put in the chat, we can't forget there's another a deadline uh, a debt ceiling. Oh yeah, they don't talk about that no more. They don't even talk about that. Yeah, Why? Because yeah. just like with the brother, they're not they're not gonna warn you people. Yeah. What, what happened in 2007? Did we get? I was at I was at work. Yeah. Everybody stopped what they was doing and had to look on the TV like, oh snap, that's gonna be it's gonna be like that times a thousand, man. You know when the uh, market crashed, 2007, 2008? Oh, yeah. That's 2008, right? Yeah. yeah, 2008 when the market crashed, man. That's crashing now. Right. You see? It's but it's going to be 100,000 100, times worse. Why? Because these people are going to go up to you, 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 you governors, you, you, you mayors, okay? Because all they savings, man, in Wall Street is going to be for naught, man. Yeah, like right now in uh, Russia, they, uh, they have uh, bank runs, which essentially is uh, people, people going up to the bank and trying to cash out the money they have inside, but not able to. Now, if you look at um, when you put money in a bank, they call it a, a FDIC insured, meaning you only insure up to a percentage of whatever you have in the bank. And when the market crashed, a lot of people lost their um their retirement funds, their four one ks. That's gonna be gone. Suicide is going up. A lot of people going off themselves. You know, that's ESO is good for that. Yep. A lot of people, and, and like I said, uh, that's going to be the beginning of Jacob's trouble because when these Edomites know that they true. lost everything, that's what's the first thing you're going to do? They're going to go for that sword, man. And don't think these Edomites ain't prepared. Because I've been watching a lot of these prepper videos, and who these, and most of these preppers, man, I'm telling you this right now, 90%, I'm going to say that, 95% of these preppers are Edomites, man. All right? And they get prepared, all right, to, to, uh, to take care of their own, man. All right? This footage is of... 12, 13, matter of fact, 11, 12, 13 year old um, um, young Edomites, man, um, get prepared, all right? They, they're, um, they're knowing how to survive in the wilderness. they shooting them guns, man. Okay, they get prepared for what's to come. But you so called black space of Americans, man, you trusting that your own enemy, man, and you're gonna be found in that trap. Refer to Amos 5 and 18, man. Got it, brother. Yeah, first Thessalonians 5 and 3. But when they should say peace and safety, then sudden destruction is coming upon them. And that's what's going to happen. Sudden destruction is going to come, man. Via the way of Jacob's trouble. Go ahead, brother. As travail upon a woman with child. Now, what does that mean, travail upon a woman with child? Birth pains, man. Birth pains. That's what that's talking about, man. All right? But are you people seeing the signs of birth pains? No. We're telling you that these birth pains are happening. Go ahead, brother. Yeah, essentially, um, like like a woman that's about to give birth, she has these contractions. Yeah. And it's not a constant thing. It would happen, ooh, 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 my stomach hurt. And then it'd be a period of nothing happening. Yeah. And you think it's okay, and then it would come back. And the closer it is come to the harder. birth, yeah, closer it is to the birth, it would come harder. So we just came out of a, 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 a scandemic, <laughs> and now we're right into a, a war of sanctions with yeah. Russia. So now we're filling in at the at, at our grocery stores or our, uh, at the pump, mm -hmm. the gas station. Yeah. So we're going from one uh, pain to the next. To the next. That's like it's essentially like, like a woman. Yeah. Yeah, a woman that that's uh, in the process of giving birth. And it says, um, as travel upon a woman with child. <laughs> and what, they, what, you know, what's that? What's the child? The child gonna be them looking the missiles. <laughs> when the, the baby's born. You know what I mean? The missiles, the missiles are flying dead in there. Two hundred thousand, yeah. thousand. Yeah, because America is a is a is a virgin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Virgin yeah. daughter of Babylon. A virgin is a woman mm -hmm. that's untouched. Yeah. She's never given birth before. Right, exactly. Yeah. 
very soon, wow. <laughs> as he made an analogy, that the child is lacking onto those missiles, man. And that's what's gonna penetrate the woman. That's what's gonna penetrate the, the virgin. Yeah. The ICBMs. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just gonna be ran through. Yeah. Gonna be ran through. Yeah. <laughs> you know, just re just referencing the analogy that you made, my dollar. But mm -hmm. you know, the brother is right. The priest is right. Those missiles. That's that's gonna be the penetrating uh, factor. Mm -hmm. That's gonna penetrate America, and uh, <laughs> destroy her. Yeah. If you could read on there, bro, in, in Thessalonians. Keep going, brother. Yeah. So First Thessalonians. Yeah. yeah. First Thessalonians 5, verse 3. I read it again. Mm -hmm. uh, for when... I start at 1. I think we already read it. Yeah, you can read from verse yeah, yeah, 4. Can... From 4. From yeah, 4. 4. Yeah. Start at 4? Yeah. All right, all right. But, but, yay, brethren, are not... But ye, brethren, are not in darkness. And that's talking about the elect, because why we got wisdom now to understand it from these scriptures. Okay, we're not in the darkness like how these other people are, because why they don't know what's going on. Lord, didn't give them this truth, man. Was it not to understand it? Go ahead, bro. Which is the light, basically. Yep. The eyes out. The eyes out. Go ahead. The eyes out. That that day should overtake you as a thief. Mm -hmm. So that day is speaking about the day that we're, we're speaking about, right? The day of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Which right now you've got certain Israelites out there that don't un even understand the day of the Lord. <laughs> like you've got these clowns. <laughs> they call themselves Karaf Israel. I don't even mention them. Who? Who? But it says warn the people. You gotta warn Jacob no, 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 no. of these. You gotta, you gotta warn yeah, Jacob of these false about. prophets. <laughs> they They're called uh, Karaf Israel, and they pretty much saying that the day of the Lord is something that happens on a day-to-day -day basis. No, the day oh, of the Lord oh, is speaking oh, about Jesus. a particular oh, yeah, yeah, day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, it's speaking about a particular yeah, day where all hell is gonna break loose. All right, especially via uh, thermonuclear missiles. And the return of Yahweh Shai the holy angel. We cannot forget about that. Yep. And what people out there call UFOs, which are the chariots of Israel. Right. Because out of these vehicles, you're going to have fire coming out too. In the form of laser beams, man. Mm -hmm. That's what the day of the Lord is speaking about. All hell breaking loose on the earth. Yep. yep. Destruction. Mayhem. Mm -hmm. Read it up. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, First Thessalonians 5 verse 4. Mm -hmm. But yea, brethren are not in darkness, that that day shall overtake you as a thief. Ye are all the children of the light, mm -hmm. and the children of the day. We are not of the night, nor of darkness. Yeah, we're not in darkness. Just like you was bringing out earlier, you know, you got people, you got our people that's groping in the daytime. At noonday. At noonday, you know. Yeah. When we're not groping, in, and we're not, we're not in that spirit. Right. We've got the light, man. We can see what's clearly going on, man. Yo, that's, that's, yeah, this, <laughs> that's heavy. Yeah, we that's spirit, cool. we like spiritual hour. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, we have that 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 type that of ice out. that that gland yeah. that we can see through the dark. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. But Jake, Jake is complete. Like when the scriptures say they grope in noonday, mm -hmm. Jake is literally blinded, man. Yeah. 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 Check out these pictures. Yeah, hold it down, bro. I'll read that again. Right. Yeah, uh, read on. Ye, ye are all children of the light and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. Mm -hmm. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others. Yeah, let us not sleep as do others. That's why the Apostle Paul said it is high time to awake our sleep. See, now is the time to actually understand who you are according to the scriptures, man. Understand who your God is. Understand who your power is, man. Understand what's coming. The prophecies. How America is going to be destroyed. You need to understand these things. Because if you don't understand these things, you're still sleeping, man. You're still spiritually dead. You're still that dry bone that Ezekiel saw in his vision all those thousand years ago, man. Yeah. Go ahead. Is that, is that it? Um, There's more. But, uh, but let us watch and be so... Well, it said, therefore let us not sleep mm -hmm. as do others. Mm -hmm. As do others. Yeah, because the scripture says that the whole... It says the whole earth is in darkness. Yeah, it's gross yeah. darkness. So, so is the people. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah. yeah. Isaiah 16. The whole strong. earth is in gross darkness. Yeah. That's what he's quoting, right? Yeah, Isaiah yeah. 16. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, as do others, but let us watch and be sober. Yeah, let us the key word being is watch. Let us watch, man. Let us watch yeah. and pray. Yeah. Well, that's what Howard Shai said, right? Watch yeah. and yeah. pray. Yeah. And that's how you measure the time by actually watching what's going on in the news and Linking it up with what the prophecy, with what uh, is mentioned the in the in the prophecies, man. Like Me the measuring the times, yeah. all right. It's a little bit more. All right, go ahead. Uh, for they that sleep, sleep in the night. Mm -hmm. 
and they that be drunken are drunken in the night. Mm -hmm. But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on a breastplate plate of faith and love for an helmet, the hope of salvation. Yes, yeah, spiritually sober, right? As we brought out earlier, Isaiah 33 verse 6, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of dire times. And when you're not uh, sober, you're, you're a drunkard, you're mm -hmm. going from one place to another place, you're exactly. just swimming, you're staggering, so to speak, mm -hmm. spiritually, and that's pretty much our people, that's the state that they're in, because mm -hmm. they don't have this truth. And the Lord said they're drunk but not with wine. Right, yeah, yeah, exactly. They're drunk but not with wine. Yeah, some guy that says um, the day of the Lord is um, day to day, that's, you drunk, yeah. you a drunk man. Yeah, yeah. That sounds like you were drunk when you said it. That's something that, it, that, it sounds like you were drunk when you said it. Now, Skipper says they grew up at noonday. Mm -hmm. Now, the word noonday is a nun, and it means the middle of the day. Mm -hmm. Now, when we look at image of noonday, obviously, it'll show us images of what it looks like during the middle of the day, which is sunny. And these people are groping, through those are groping, they're search, searching for the truth mm -hmm. in the middle of the day, when the sun is at its peak, when the sun is, is, is bright. Yet, they can't find it because the Most High has blinded their eyes so they can't see, yeah. which is very, very fearful, bro, now that you really think about it, because when we read these scriptures, we have to visualize what we read. Mm. We have to we have to feel these scriptures. We have to visualize the scriptures, man. Mm -hmm. El Paso Gabar always stresses this, and all the rest of the apostles, we have to visualize what we read, because that gives us more insight to the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, of what's written. Yeah. You got to visualize a the person, they're groping, they're searching. You know, let me, let me try to find this. They're right. searching at noonday, right, right. when the sun is at its peak. Peak is point. Yeah. They're searching, but the Mosa has a dark cloud over them that they can't find what, they, what they're looking for. I got the definition of rope. Uh, fill about or search blindly. See that? Fill about or search, search blindly. blindly. It's like a guy, you know, he just drops something in, on, the, on the sand. He's like, oh shit, let me just, yeah. you know, look. And he's all scrabbling and shit, mm -hmm. going all over. He's groping. Yeah. Meanwhile, the sun is bright. It's right there, and it's all bright. The floor is all bright because of the sun, the light of the sun. And he's still groping. He's like, oh, let me try to find it. Okay, and so that's how two-thirds are. They can't see. Mm. Ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Wow. Go ahead. Yeah, or uncertainty, uncertainly with their hands. See, or uncertainly with their, with their hand because they're not certain. They're not assured of where or what their hands are, are touching or where their hands are. Yeah. They're uncertain. Damn. Yeah. So, Ooh. see that? Hey, man. All praise to you. Yeah, the Holy Spirit, man. Yeah, they, um, they, uh, that reminds me of that time where um, I should check it out. But Big Sean was on, on an interview with Drink, Jink Trent. Dr Drink? Drink, Drink Champs. 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 Drink Champs. With Noriega and them, and them folly demons. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's a show about getting drunk and interviewing people. Yeah. Which is spiritual because Big Sean put up the fact that he was on on a plane with Donald Trump, Kanye West, you know, Kim Kardashian, oh, yeah. his daughter, and Kanye West's father. And he was telling Donald Trump about how he was Israelites. And Noriega casually skipped over the fact that he Man, said he, that. He brought it oh, but Big Sean brought up the Israelites. Yeah, he yeah. said, you know, yeah. I was telling Donald Trump the great history about how, you know, we were Is we are Israelites. And it it just went up breeze right over their head. That's a part of them groping because a jewel like that, that was gold. That was, and, and they couldn't catch it. I think, I think, I, I think Nori knows, but he don't, they know, for his show, he don't, he don't bring it up because too many Jake's been exploring yeah, him. Yeah, okay, so he don't, he knows, but he don't, he don't speak on it. Potentially, man. but regardless, they don't hold no high regard to the truth. Of course, yeah. God. So it's almost like you didn't know. Yeah. And then it's one thing, you know, knowing that you're an Israelite, but it's another thing. Right. Learning and knowing of Yahweh yeah. Shai at the end of the day, because yeah. there's a lot of people that know that there is a lot of our people, I should say, well, they that know that they're, they that know that they're Hebrew Israelites, yeah. but they don't know Yahweh Shai. Yeah, but the same way back when the Lord was on the scene, they knew they were Israelites too. That's the point that I'm making, bro. <laughs> um, the point I'm making yeah, is that's what I'm saying. they know that they're Israelites, but they don't have the depth because yeah. it don't. Cause Cause they, they it doesn't. They it doesn't end with just knowing they're Israelites. Right, yeah. Yeah. It goes deeper than that. The reality yeah, is they didn't believe. They don't believe in Yahweh Shai. Exactly. That's what it all boils down to. Exactly. Exactly. Another point I wanted to add on to the uncertainty part on mm -hmm. that definition of growth is again, according to the scriptures, the Lord has blinded their eyes that they cannot see. Mm -hmm. Even though well, let's bring it out. Let's bring it out. Yeah, come. Come. 
This is Isaiah 6, and verse 9. It says, And he said, Go, and tell this people, Hear ye indeed, but understand not. Yeah, hear the words that are written in the scriptures, mm -hmm. that are being prophesied unto the nations, in particular, unto the nation of Israel. We so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians, and Israelite like foreigners. Go ahead. And see ye indeed, but perceive not. So hear ye indeed, yet you don't understand. See ye indeed, you see the men of the Lord on the highways and hedges, right. on the internet, but you understand not, you perceive not. Because the Lord has not opened up your, your spiritual That's minds it. that you may be able to see, yeah. that you may be able to be converted so that he may heal you and then deliver you. The Lord does not want to thirst to be healed. He does not want them to be converted so that he may deliver them. He wants to destroy them. That's right. And it's evident according to the scriptures. Go ahead. It says, make the heart of this people fat. Make their minds fat. Meaning, make their minds heavy. Mm -hmm. Because when they hear these words, these words, it cuts them. According to Hebrews chapter, uh, what is that? Uh, Four. Four verse 12. Mm -hmm. The words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah are sharper than any two-edged sword. Because these words are likened unto a sword with two edges. Mm -hmm. One edge you can cut yourself, yep. and then the other edge, you, you, you're cutting those that you're uh, mm -hmm. you you're speaking it against. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. So you have to not to swing that sword. Exactly. <laughs> yield, yield, yield that, 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 that sword. Yield that you got to yield it right. Mm -hmm. And that's where the teachers come in. That's you right. know, that's why that's why it's important to actually hire a teacher. You know, because you have a lot of Jake that wake up to the truth and they're like, you know, I'm going to do my own thing. Mm -hmm. They're going to climb up another way. Mm -hmm. Not coming through the straight gate, man. Mm -hmm. You see, there's an order, you know, to this truth, how the Lord is set up. That's yeah, well, every 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 skill set has um has the guys that master the skill yeah. and the apprentices. Yeah. Anytime you join up, like, for instance, like union work, you have to come in as an apprentice because yeah. you come in and think you know everything like an electrician. You get you get shocked, yeah. mm -hmm. and the guy got to be like, "Hold on, young bull. First off, go get me my coffee, and when you get back, do it this way." You know what I'm saying? You, you're trying to jump into, you know, you got to be an apprentice. You you yeah. start from the very bottom. Yeah, and they show you that in kung fu movies too. Yeah, you know, you have like a, a young, yeah, like a young, a young master. The brother said, a novice, a novice. There you go, a novice that doesn't really know what he's doing kung fu wise. Yeah. And he goes to a teacher, to, you know, to, to be trained up the right way, to a master at that, to be trained up the right way, man. And then every once in a while, you might have them, you know, a whole bunch of novices in the group, and then one novice is like, "Man, you ain't you ain't as yeah. good as you say you yeah, are." Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah. going to swing it at the master. Yeah, yeah. Master hit him with some shit. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah. Yeah. He don't know where hit him. Next thing yeah. you know, he like, see, this is the reason why you right. sit down and learn, yeah. Yeah. right? Because right. yeah. you ain't gonna beat the master. Huh. Like Excellent a lot of point. a lot of guys spiritually come up against the elders. Mm -hmm. Either, you know, get confounded, falling out, or whatever. Yeah. You know, which is not a wise move at all because, you, you know, those men are very aged in wisdom. Yeah. Yes. They have experience that, that cope with what they teach, you know, yeah. through the spirit. And then that's their lot too. A lot of James right. aren't able to discern that these are the true men of the Lord. Mm -hmm. And that's something you have to discern. It says it in, in Malachi, right? Then shall they return and discern them that you know worship the Lord, rough and paraphrasing, and, and them that don't. Mm -hmm. She has to discern who the, the who the true men of the Lord are, man. That's right. That's right. Anyway, reading on Isaiah six six and verse ten, Salakio. It says, "Make the heart of this people fat, mm -hmm. and make their ears heavy, and shut their eyes, lest they see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their heart, yep. and convert and be healed." Right. So that proves right there that the Lord does not want to thirst of the nation of Israel mm -hmm. to see with their eyes and hear with their ears spiritually yeah. Yeah. so that they may be converted and healed. The Lord does not want that. Yeah. The Lord has rejected two thirds of the nation of Israel. Exactly. That's why they search uncertainly God. because they can't see what's in front of them. Even though unto the elect, the Lord has made the path clear because yeah. the scripture says that the people that had sat in great darkness a light arose and shined unto them, roughly paraphrasing the scripture. And who is that light? Oh, Lord Yahweh Shai. What did it say in Titus? Unto the pure. Right All things are pure. Oh, that's right the spirit. <laughs> this is Titus chapter 1, it. verse 15. It says, Unto the pure, all things are pure. But unto them that are defiled and unbelieving, 
is nothing pure. And the pure is the elect. That's who's being gifted with the gift of faith, the gift to actually see in the dark, man. Mm -hmm. And it's not it's not of us. It's the Lord, Yahweh Bashna Asha, that gives you that special spirit, mm -hmm. that pure spirit from the very beginning, man. Yeah. Read it one more time, bro. Because it says, Unto the pure, all things are pure. And what's pure? This doctrine, which isn't our doctrine, right? What we're teaching here at Great Millstone is the doctrine of Yahweh Bashna Asha, man. <laughs> It's a doctrine of the Lord sent on down onto special vessels, through, through special vessels, in the form of the apostles, the bishops, the elders, the brothers of Great Millstone, man, and like-minded men that, you know, believe our report. It also says that, who have believed our report. Yeah, yeah. And our report is the report of Yahweh Bashna al man. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. It says, but unto them that are defiled and unbelieving. And who's defiled? The two-third, man. Yeah. Right? The Jakes like this can't get down with what we're saying, with what we're, we're teaching you. That's the that's the the unpure man, the defiled in the spirit. Go ahead. It's nothing pure. It's nothing pure. So they're always bucking up against what we're saying, man, against what we're teaching. Mm -hmm. yeah. It says, but even their mind and conscience is defiled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're defiled of what the the the, 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 the ways of this world. Yeah, you know. Sex, drugs, and rock and roll, yeah, 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 <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah. They're defiled, man. Yeah. You know, they, just, they can't get right. They can't, can't get right. Get right. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead, bro. You need more now? Yeah, a little more. All right. It says, um, verse 16, it says, They profess that they know the Most High, mm. but in works, they deny Him. Mm. Yo. Who do we think about, who do we think about when that pops up? Oh, oh, man. Most of these groups, all right? Mm. Because the, none of these groups worship Yahweh Shah. None of them, all of them say they worship Yahweh, that they don't worship Yahweh Shah. All right? <clears throat> We're the only group talking about great mills to stuff from the apostle mills it all down that worship Yahweh Shah. Read that again? Good. It says they profess that they know the Most High. Yeah, they profess they know Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. Uh -huh. But in works, they deny him. Yeah, in works, they deny him, man. Talking about the Word of God. <laughs> it's um is 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 not in the scriptures. Wait, well, how do how do you say it? Confusion. Know. All right, then you had to say John the Baptist went off, bringing sticks to camp. You can bringing have sex. sticks to camp. You can, you can have, have sex, sex on Sabbath. the Sabbath. <laughs> well, if you knew the Lord, well, certain camps, you know, bring out the name of the Lord. But you got a certain Israelite group that don't bring out the name of the Lord. All right. You know, I U I C. They don't bring out Yahweh. Why Yahweh Shai? And in order to to know the Lord, you have to know His name, man. Yeah. Oh. I have to teach the name. Then they say it's better to um, eat pork than speak Greek. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. So <laughs> what? No, in the scriptures. That's in the scriptures. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. scriptures. Oh. It was better. To, it was better to eat pork right. than speak. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, because they they, they hated the Greek so much yeah. in that language, yeah. bro. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's not our language. Yeah. So you saying Christ and Jesus? And, and Jesus. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 now that's yeah, in um, exactly. that's in the apocryphal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah that was yeah, in yeah, apocryphal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It said it's better to eat pork than to speak Greek. Greek. Yeah, yeah. So why why would the Lord accept yeah, you calling him by a Greek name yeah. or a Greek interpretation of his name? Yeah. Hmm. Well, his name is what it what it is. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. if if you were given a name in Spanish, for example, um, Jesus. Jesus. But English translation, you would say Jesus. But if right. somebody was calling you Jesus, 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 you're not going to turn around because your name was given in Spanish. Right, right. Which is Jesus. Kind of. So I call Jesus, you're going to turn around. Yeah, yeah. Right, exactly. So it's, it's definitely a power in, in, um, in a name. Yeah, yeah, because you can't translate the names. You can only transliterate it. You can translate words, but you can't translate names. Right. Case in point, if you go to Japan and they see Michael Jackson, they'll speak in Japanese and say Michael Jackson. If you go anywhere, they're going to say your name. Because why? Because you can't translate names. You can only transliterate it. We have to still bring about that name in whatever language you're speaking. Well, not not not, not only the, um, how you would say it with an accent, but another example, they say Yahweh. That's the Assyrian way of saying Yahweh. But they wasn't, the original version of the name is in Paleo-Hebrew. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So even if you said it in a different language... It's, it's no relevance to it because the name was given in Hebrew. Yeah. So if you don't say that name, then, you know, it's a reason why. Exactly. What, what the scripture say? Uh, the name is a dreadful amongst the heathens? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 of course. It says, um, yeah, our people, a lot of our people are spiritual heathens. It's kind. Yeah. It's kind. It says, um, it says, but in works, they deny him both, it's about it. They deny him being abominable and disobedient 
and on to every good work reprobate. Yeah, you get these, as these false prophets, man. These false teachers, man. You know? Yeah. Rep the word reprobate means void of judgment. Void of judgment. And we're living in you know that time the time of judgment, man. And what did the Lord say to start his house? Yeah, you know, exactly. inside his people. That's right. Also, Peter 4. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Those that um, know this truth, yeah. they'll be beaten with many yeah. stripes. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Look at, um, looking back, it's not fit yeah. for the kingdom. Those who yeah. look back is not on the plow. Yeah. Not fit for the kingdom. But I got a quick precept. This is Matthew. You was done with that, brother? Mm -hmm. I asked him too. Oh, you have something? Look up. Go ahead. Um, yeah. Second uh, Peter is 1, verse 20. Knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scripture is it of any private interpretation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so <laughs> we're not just coming out here just uh, uh, whimsical about what we say. This is, uh, first off, it's passed down the knowledge. Yeah. And um, it, it was a diligent work, like like a vineyard, yeah. you know, the understanding. Like I was uh, watching a video, the elders is bringing it out, that... Um, when they used to come to camp, they used to bring a whole bunch of books. Yeah, I seen that one. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. prior to prior to the internet age, mm -hmm. you would have to bring out a whole bunch of books that you have to find these these things mm -hmm. that was made easy for us. They actually, they actually had like a book cart. They used to bring yeah, book, yeah, book cart. It's crazy. So, I read that again. For uh, Second Peter's one verse twenty, knowing this first that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation, for the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man. But holy men of the Most High spake as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. So, you know, when elders say something, it's not them saying it. It's, yeah. it's, it's through the Spirit. Yeah. Amos 3 verse 7. Surely the Lord will do nothing, but he reveal his secrets unto his servants, prophets. Hosea 12. I have also spoken by the mouth of the prophets, and you similar to you, you know, by the ministry of, of, the, of the prophets, man. So the Lord is dealing with men. Yeah, and a lot, a lot of guys have problems with elders, yeah. um, but it's really not the problem with them. Wow. Yeah, the Lord said he set forth the apostles last. Yeah, 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 he did. That was it on that one? Yeah. All right, so this is Matthew 13. Now check this out. Matthew 13 and 10. And Yahweh Shai said this. I mean, this is what the disciples actually have Shai. And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? He's talking about the other Israelites. He says, he answered and said unto them, because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. Meaning what? We're not here for all of Israel, man. Our job is to hear, is to go in the house and bowers and see with the elect. Whoever hears, they hear. If they forbear, they forbear, man. Mm -hmm. We're not here to save all of Israel. We're not here to save black people, man. Okay, we're here to gather the elect. And that's the same thing how Shah was moving. Was, was, that's the same thing how Shah was moving, man. Yeah. That's why he's speaking them in parables. It says, For whosoever hath to him shall be given, and he shall have more abundance. But whosoever hath not, from him shall be taken away, even that he hath. Mm -hmm. And those are the people that want to take for granted this truth, man. Yeah. The Lord yeah. will snuff out that whatever you know, man. That the oil, light. man. Light. That light. Mm -hmm. You know? Going back to the, you know, the five bride, the ten bridesmaids. Yeah. You know, the five virgins. are wise and five, the, are you the ten virgins? Five are wise and five are foolish. Mm -hmm. And you see that happening right now. A little bit of oil, in case of point, this guy to Zariac, because he's not no captain. All right? A totally butchered, okay, the um, um Revelation 13 chapter, all the way down. It says, Yahweh I said this, he says, Therefore speak I to them in parables, because they see, see not, Going back to Isaiah 69. Mm -hmm. And hearing they hear not. Need they do they understand. That's why we're not here to save all people, man. We're here to give these people the gospel. And whosoever can hear and understand, they are of you know most likely of the elect, man. We're not here to save everybody. It says, and in um it says, um, and in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah, which said, By hearing he shall hear and shall not understand. And seeing, going back to what? Isaiah 69. And seeing he shall see and shall not perceive. These people don't perceive that to speak to the prophets of old. That we came back, that we were prophets from the beginning. You know? But they don't perceive these things. They don't perceive that the Lord is that, that the Lord is actually um crying out to them man, via the way of the prophets. Yeah. And that's why the Lord said to Ezekiel, cry, speak to the wind, man. Prophesy, prophesy, son of man. It says, for this people, look what the Lord said. For this people's heart is wax gross, and their ears are dull of hearing, 
and their eyes they have closed, lest at any time they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears and should understand with their heart and should be converted and I shall heal them. So what's the Lord saying right there, man? The Lord wants to kill majority of his people. That's what that's saying, man. He, when you go to Isaiah 6, go back to Isaiah 69 real quick. Because okay, the angel asked him a question. How long, Lord? How long? Are people going to be blinded? Yeah. This is Isaiah 6 uh -huh. and verse 9. It says, And he said, Go and tell this people, Hear ye indeed, but understand it not. And see, that see. was an angel, just like how the brother priest was saying. You got to visualize these things. The Lord actually sent an angel to blind two thirds of our people. Understand that. And see ye indeed, but perceive not. Make the heart of this people fat, and make their ears heavy, and shut their eyes. Lest they see with their eyes mm -hmm. and heart and hear with their and hear with their ears and understand with their heart and convert and be healed. Mm -hmm. Then said I, Lord, how long? And he answered, Until the cities be wasted. Until what? Until the cities be wasted mm -hmm. without inhabitant, and the houses without man, and the land be utterly desolate. Meaning that they're going to have to come back in the kingdom, man. The Lord wants to destroy him via the way of intercontinental ballistic missiles. The Lord wants to kill and cook two-thirds of our people, man. Yeah. And that's what these people are not understanding, man. The Lord is blinding them. The Lord don't want them to see. That's why Yahweh said, blessed are they that see. Okay, yeah, go ahead. This is uh, Jeremiah 6, verse 10. Yeah. It says, to whom shall I speak and give warning that they may hear? Behold, their ear is uncircumcised and they cannot hearken. Behold, the word of the Lord is unto them a reproach. They have no delight in it. Yeah, and, meaning that they're spiritually mm -hmm. dumb. Go ahead, brother. And that's the majority of, of our people, man. They, when it comes to this word, man, yeah. they, they, they are highly offended by it, man. Yeah. Because why they're offended of our Lord, man. Yeah. You know, they hated our Lord, man. Those those that was on the scene, you know, that wanted to crucify our Lord, man, they're the same ones that's here today, man. Mm -hmm. Back again, man. Mm -hmm. You know, that despise this word, man. They hate it, man. It's like, you know, to them as a, as a reproach, man. And that's why the Lord has it to where they can't even understand it. Because he wants to destroy them, man. You see that? Yeah, they consider us the all scoring. Yeah. This yeah. is like the, the very filth. The, filth, the, the scum. Yeah, the scum. The, scum. the lowliest. The scum. Yeah. You guys want to say? No, no. That, I was going to mention that. Um, I said, then they should know it after death by pain. Yeah. Ooh, you know, yeah. the Lord basically destroyed them. Then they're going to come back in their right mind through the loins of the elect. And they're going to understand that. Yeah. I done went off, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah I mean, them, them, them niggas telling the truth the yeah. whole time, but they they gonna realize that at the death by pain, yeah. you know, being they they gonna have to be destroyed by thermonuclear destruction on this side, man. Yeah, for you, them to realize that they're you know that they're the, they're the chosen, man. Yeah, because yeah, even even Jake is worse than Esau, because at the time uh, mm -hmm. Pontius Pilate had to wash his hands clean of the Lord. Yeah, mm -hmm. so, oh man, oh, man. Oh. I can't I can't with a good conscience. Say I was down for the killing of this innocent man. Yep. Like our people hated the truth that much, they yeah. they went to the stream to mm. uh, to put the uh, Lord in the place of a um, Barabbas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Barabbas, an yeah. actual actual criminal. Yeah, because his wife his wife was getting plagued with all types dreams. of dreams yeah. and visions, you know. And hey, she even warned she even warned the uh, you know a uh, pilot. Like, oh, you know. Pilot didn't even want to kill the Lord. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, yeah, it was according to prophecy, yeah. but. But Jake, Jake wanted the, they wanted the blood upon him. Yeah. They said, put his blood upon him. Yeah. I mean, you got to be evil to say some shit like that's, that. That's, that. that's, you know? spirit, hey, that's why that's when, when, when they come back in this time, we don't feel sorry for Jake, man. Yeah, right, right. When they get their head blown the fuck off or something happened to them mm -hmm. drastic, yo, we don't feel sorry for these men. Well, that's their own curse. What do they say? Let, the, his, let his blood mm -hmm. be upon us, yeah. upon us and, and our, our children. children. Yeah. And Jake didn't understand reincarnation, exactly. man. Exactly. They understand what they said. Yeah. And the most fearful thing of it all is that the Lord had wired their spirit yeah. to say those things. Yeah, that's that's terrible. That's yeah. the, well, because the scripture says, man's going is of the Lord. Yeah. Yep. 
how can a man understand his own way in, 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 in the vision of the night, in the dream, in the vision of the night, and deep sleep falls upon mm -hmm. men, the Lord is seized in instruction. So our Lord, from, from the very foundation, before everything was created, sealed those instructions into all those Israelites that said that, man. Yeah. Hey, that's it's why scary, I, bro. That's why I love that scripture. It's in Sirach 33. Some of you blessed and some of you cursed. Which that curse on yeah, this man. side applies unto two third of our people. Yeah. He hasn't blessed them with this truth. He, haven't, he hasn't blessed them with uh, a right spirit. Because yeah. that, that's, a, that's a great point that you made, man. And really, you know, when you look into it on a, on a deep level, that was the spirit that Yahweh Bashmah Shai created within, you know, those, those particular Israelites, yeah. really to seal their destruction, man. Exactly. Why? For his particular purpose. Yeah. It's for his yeah. purpose, man. Yeah. So we're all black. Well, Lord willing. Lord willing. Well, Lord, Lord, willing. Lord, Lord willing. Lord willing. Lord willing. Because the, the, the race isn't over. Is the race isn't over, man. The right. Lord said, um, what are you saying? I said, he that endure for to the end, the same, same shall be saved. saved. So, it's, you know, this is, thing of, this is a thing of endurance, endurance. man. You know? And you got to endure a lot in this yeah. truth. You got to endure yourself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, because like um, Elder Apostle Kabawi says, you know, we're our, we're our own worst enemies, man. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, I got something real quick. This is second edge of 601. Going back to how the Lord before the foundation of the earth already chose who the elect is going to be and who two thirds are going to be. Mm -hmm. This is, and he said unto me in the beginning, when the earth was made, before the borders of the world stood, or ever the winds blew, before it thundered and lightened, or ever the foundations of paradise were laid, before the fair flowers were seen, or ever the movable powers were established, before the innumerable multitude of angels were gathered together. Or ever the heights of the air were lifted up, before the measures of the firmament were named, or ever the chimneys in Zion were hot, and it's the, here's the kicker, and ere the present years were sought out, and or ever the inventions of them that now sin were turned, mm. before they were sealed that have gathered faith for a treasure. So you could see there's a clear difference that the Lord when the Lord made the spirits, man. The Lord said before he made the innumerable angels, meaning what? It was already in his mind, man. Yeah. Okay? The Lord already had in his mind who he's going to choose. It, that's that's why Yahweh Shai said is nobody could boast of his works, man. Yeah. Yahweh Shai said, you haven't chosen me, but I've chosen you. Yeah, that's right. Man. That's why Yahweh Shai said, that's why they was asking, why do you speak to him in parables? Because Yahweh Shai knew his <laughs> father from the beginning. Mm -hmm. Hey, John 17 said it. When Yahweh Shai said, I, I've not lost one of them, who's he talking about? Yeah. That same one that he gathered, that he made to gather faith for a treasure before the foundations of. When you read the, um, um, Ephesians, the first chapter, I mean, the first chapter on down, the ones that were predestinated, man. Mm -hmm. You see? That's how deep this thing was, man. Hey, that's why when um, the apostles at the time, disciples then, back then, they were, uh, they were fishing. Yeah. They, they had, you know what I'm saying? They, they dropped everything. Yeah. When they seen the Lord, it, it, it's like through the Spirit. They already had that that, that spiritual connection, knowing like that's the that's the God, that's Him. Yeah, and, and they were out of Him. Yeah, and they were unlearned men. Yeah, but yet and still they sat in seats amongst the Pharisees and the Sadducees, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, brother. That's likened unto us brothers that came into this truth when you know we saw our teachers, yeah. which is prophecy to your thine eyes shall mm -hmm. see thy teachers, you shall hear a word behind thee saying, you know, walk ye in it, walk ye this way, you know. And that's how it was, man. You know, us brothers, when we saw the apostles, we were like, yeah, bro, those, those are those men. Mm -hmm. The men of the Lord, man. And you just got to follow that path, man, you know. Mark the perfect yeah, man. Yeah, mark the perfect man. Mark the perfect man. Yeah, they said, um, give, give, um, uh, bless the Lord that gave this knowledge yeah, to... Not yet, said this, but not yet. Mm -hmm. Bless the Lord that gave this knowledge to babes. Kind of. Yeah. You know, we, we consider unlearned men, but we can contest with any of pastor. Yeah. And yeah. break down the scriptures perfectly through the spirit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's keep these scriptures going. Yeah, yeah, so going. I'm done with this one. So this is First Thessalonians, Second Thessalonians, chapter two, verse eleven. And for this cause, Yahweh Bashim Yahusha shall send them strong delusion, that they should believe a lie, mm. that they all might be damned who believe not the truth, and had pleasure in unrighteousness. And so Yahweh Bashim Yahusha had sent upon two thirds of the nation of Israel. In whom he blinded strong delusions. And the Lord said in Isaiah 66, verse 14, verse 4, excuse me, that he, he will choose their delusions. Mm -hmm. 
that they should believe a lie. Mm -hmm. That's what the scripture says, ever learning and never able to come into the knowledge of the truth. That they all might be damned who believe not the truth. And that was the whole purpose of why the Lord blinded two thirds of the nation of Israel, so that they may be damned who believe not the truth. And who was the truth? Yahweh Shai or Lord. Mm -hmm. yep. But had pleasure in unrighteousness because the things that the Lord had sent upon them to believe caused them to commit unrighteousness because there's no light in them. And who is that light? Or Lord Yahweh Shai. The scripture says, if they speak not according to this gospel, yeah, yeah. this doctrine, yeah. it is because there is no light in them. Yeah. So two thirds of the nation of Israel being in gross darkness <laughs> are dark within themselves. Yeah. The like dark it. ones. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what, what did Jude refer to as, man? Let me see if I can get Jude real quick. Mm -hmm. you know? uh, this is... Because the light has not sprung up within their hearts. Huh? Well, the Lord said they surpassed the, the evil deeds of the wicked. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, real quick, this is uh, Jude and verse 6. It says, and the angels which kept not their first estate, mm -hmm. but left their own habitation, mm -hmm. he have reserved in everlasting chains under darkness unto the judgment of the great day. And who are those angels referring to? Exactly. The men of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Elect. Yep. Ultimately beginning with the men of the Lord, the governing body of the nation of Israel. Because the angels, the powers that we read about in Genesis, the first chapter, that were with Yahweh Shai, are the governing body of the nation of Israel, mm -hmm. the 144,000 prophets. Those angels that had left their first estate and, and are now subject to these chains of darkness, these bodies of sin, mm -hmm. because that's what darkness represents. It represents sin. Mm -hmm. That's what the scripture says, and behold, darkness covers the earth and gross darkness, darkness the, people. the people. Darkness represents sin. It also represents ignorance mm -hmm. because gross ignorance covers the minds of two-thirds of the nation of Israel. And on the flip side, it represents two-thirds too. They're, and they're not yeah. Israelites too. Right, 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 they're right, angels right. too. And right, they're going to exactly. be reserved right. for what? Un unto destruction. Right. Unto the destruction. Yeah. And yeah, that reminds me of what um, the Apostle Paul uh, said. Um, anathema. Arathema. I forgot how he, how he said it. Let me see if I can find it. But for sure. Yeah. Bear with me. Bear with me. Yeah. Because the, the, the word angel, it means messenger. And we have to understand that the Lord deals with both sides, both the good and the evil. Yep. The scripture says in the book of Proverbs, chapter 11, verse 1, that a false balance is abomination to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. An abomination is a filthy act. Something that is filthy is, is, is obviously unpleasant. I got it. I got, I got it here. Got it. This is a 1 Corinthians 16, a verse 22. It says, if any man love not the Lord Yahweh Shai, let him be anathema maran, mar, maranatha. Now, when we go into this word, anathema. Basically, they're going to be preserved yep. until, the, until the day of the Lord when he comes back to destroy them. Yep. This is the word for anathema. It says, a thing set up or laid by in order to be kept, specifically for an offering resulting from a vow. Mm. Wow. Then it says, a curse. Wow. <laughs> then it says, a curse. So, oh, look what it says here. It says, a thing devoted to the most high without hope of being redeemed. Mm. <laughs> and if an animal to be slain, therefore a person or thing doomed mm. to destruction. Wow. wow, and that's two thirds of our people, man. So they're yeah. doomed to destruction, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, bro. And Mar if I may, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maranatha says, mm -hmm. "Our Lord cometh or will come," so they're going to be reserved into that yeah, very day. Yeah. The day of doom. Yeah, the day of doom. The day of doom. Yeah. Oh, bro, that's that's heavy. Reserved. Yeah. And it says, if they believe not, Yahweh shot. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Hey, so think about it, because you got some wicked niggas that be out there, right? And you be like, damn, you see all this shit that yeah. motherfucker done did, and then it's like, damn. Why the hell is Lord be keeping this nigga I mean, alive? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right, right time, nigga right bro. here, and then they're yeah, 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 yeah. kill niggas Ball. and all that. Yeah. And then we see now, 
the Lord is yeah. waiting, you know, preserving his ass for a certain yeah. <laughs> certain judgment, man. Yeah, you know? So <laughs> guess what? So guess what? All so you start certainly you guys out there in Israel that know that you're that you're Israelites. You out there that continue to scoff and scorn and mock at Yahweh Shai and dishonor Yahweh Shai, guess what? Little do you know you've been allotted to perdition. But the mm -hmm. Lord put that spirit upon you to where you think that you're on the right track. And this is a fearful thing. That's why the scripture says mm -hmm. it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands wow. of the living power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. Yeah. Because the most high the most high can set a man up. You may think that you're on the right track, you may think you're going doing what you gotta do. But then the most high can say, you know what? He could flip that switch, man. And take all of that. And take way. everything. The most I, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah are no respected persons. That's why we pray, 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 and beg Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, Lord, please take not the Holy Spirit away from us. Yeah, yeah, man. Have mercy upon us. Forgive mm -hmm. us for our iniquities in our past lives mm -hmm. and in our present life even now. Yeah. Forgive us of our secret faults. You know, keep us from presumptuous sins. Because we don't we, we don't know what we did against the Lord in our past lives, man. Come on, bro. We don't know, but we know certainly that we're not perfect. And we need, we need Yahweh Shai, man. That's right. We need Yahweh Shai. We need Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai because, hey, man, we are subject to these chains of darkness, these bodies of sin. Yeah. We sin every day. Right now, the stuff that you're wearing, the mixed fabric, we're going off. Yeah. And if you break one you break law, one. you break all. Yeah, you just, <laughs> What's the wages of sin? Death. Yeah. So how where's the room? How's that how's that uh room for, to boast in the law? Boasting has been excluded through the through the law of faith. Yeah, and how was if you got went deeper said so even if you think upon, you know, you know, another man's life, you breaking you know what I'm saying? So yeah, right. the we're in these chains of darkness, man. You know? Yeah, the no, um, law the law of sacrifice is done away with, so it's really no other way to cover yourself. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> right, bro. It's no other way to That's cover it. yourself but through Yahweh Shai. Yeah. That's the only it, way, because he the Lord did away with the law of sacrifice a long time ago. Yeah. Yeah. That's why. So we, even if you wanted to say, you know what, I'm not going through Yahweh Shah, you you have no cloak. I Meaning you you're punishable yeah. with no mercy under the the uh, offense of the law. Oh, that's a big point. He's that that wow. The Lord didn't accept those sacrifices. Yeah, there's no other way. Oh, yeah. That's over with. Yeah, that's over so with. So these Old Testament... Only, yeah. yeah only, yeah. they're finished. You're done. You're done. The ones that don't want to worship Yahweh with Luke 19, 27 say. So you're you're done, man. Amen. Yeah, the, Lord, the Lord is not accepting ways of sacrifice. That, that's done. Hey. Now it's, we're the sacrifice, our bodies. Hey, bro, Lord willing, man, that's why we pray that we are of the elect, bro. Yeah. Because we want to read the goal is salvation. It's truth is not a it's not a fashion show, it's not a fad, right. it's not a modeling show, right. it's not to be seen in men, yeah. women and none none of that stuff, man. Yeah, we're not here to get women and jobs, bro. Yeah, we're not here to get women and jobs and all that stuff. Like you guys over there at the ICBK were saying. What do you say? What do you say? If you wanna if you wanna come to the truth, <laughs> the, um, come to this truth and get you a woman and a job. Like do you guys do, wow. you, do you do you guys even know what do you guys know why you why in this truth, man? <laughs> <laughs> I got something. I got something. This is uh first Corinthians chapter five, verse ten. It says, For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Yahweh Shai. Wow. Hey, and that, that's you that's always, yeah, that's that's, that's heavy, man. Man. You know? That's heavy, man. Because the next time you go before the throne, in which we're all gonna go <laughs> yeah. before the throne, you know, you want the Lord to be pleased with you. Yeah. yeah. You know, this is my my, my, my faithful servant. Have you done my will? That's how you want the Lord to be looking at you when you're in front of the throne, man. Right. You know? It says that everyone may receive the things done in his body mm. according to that he yeah. have done, whether it be good or bad. Yeah, and we all, like we was going into, we all sin in past lives. We sin in this life. So that's why it's important to fear how Bash Nara Shai because the Lord can get you at any time, man. Time, for all the bro. sins that you've committed, time, you know, at any time. At any time. Mm. Knowing, therefore, the terror. There you go. <laughs> terror. Knowing, <laughs> knowing, <laughs> terror knowing the terror. Knowing the terror. Quick as Of the Lord, what? There it is, man. We persuade men. Yeah. Mm. 
But mm. we are made manifest unto the Most High Yahweh by Shem Shai. And I trust also. And that's why it's important to always go into the mm -hmm. judgment. So we have Bashem and mm -hmm. let, let you know Israel know right. this is who is doing the damage. Right. This is who is bringing the, the, the destruction. Yep. Because it's the Lord, man. Yeah. At the end of the day. And that, that, that terror is supposed to make you convert. Motivate mm -hmm. you. Motivate you. That's supposed mm -hmm. to make you repent mm -hmm. of your sins, man. Yep. Oh, just like um, in the time of Nineveh. When um oh, yeah. when, uh, when Jonah, 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 Jonah yeah. prophesied against Nineveh, yeah. mm -hmm. and they took heed, yeah. and it wasn't destroyed then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But then later on, eventually got destroyed when they when they turned back from you know changing their ways. Yeah. So how much more now when we you know we've been out here warning the people, yeah. and and nobody take matter of fact they to the point where they want to persecute us. Yeah. How much more when the Lord really comes down with that judgment? Yeah, and bro, the Lord flooded the entire earth. He flooded the entire earth and man. saved eight people and saved eight <laughs> souls. Yeah, that's the, that's the terror of the Lord right there. Man. Same power. We that's the with. terror. <laughs> and the Lord said oh, He changes man. not. Yeah, He changes not. He said this time is gonna be um uh, uh, purified through fire. Mm -hmm. Cause you gotta extrapolate. Yo. You gotta you gotta extrapolate the flood. That was that was very very deadly. And vicious. Like <laughs> he. Listen, the scripture says the most high, he, you know, <laughs> when, he, in, in, when, he, when he was making everything, he created what? Great whales, sea monsters. So you got to understand all those jakes that was trapped in that water that was yeah. so high above the surface. Leviathan, you could just imagine what Jake was seeing underneath that yeah, water. Yeah. The most high could have it the way their spirit was kept inside of their bodies. They were gasping for air, yeah. all that water going in their lungs. The most I could have kept their spirit in their bodies. Meanwhile, they see a big ass mouth, a whale, or something just opening up, just yeah. eat, you know. Yeah. And then the most I had um, a, a sea monster swallowed or, or a fall for the Jonah. Yeah. You could just imagine what he, like, you know, his three days. He was like, come on, man, you know. You seen, you seen, you seen us <laughs> win. You seen something just coming to where you straight. Open up your mouth. Like you got, like you know what I'm saying, like bro. Like, yum, yum. Mm -hmm. like you gotta, like really, like think about these things, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was, we have to really think about, like yeah, visualize hell, these hell. things, bro. Yeah, the flood, the flood was a slow process, bro. You know, they probably was on the top of their house. They couldn't sleep for hours. Wow. They see a baby yeah. drowning. You got women, newborn babies, newborn babies, old women mm -hmm. with the stick and all that, you know. You got to let them drown. Trying, trying to hang on to the, yeah. Trying yeah. to hang on to it, right. Yeah. Come on, man. He was banging on the door, doors of Noah. <laughs> Noah was, he wanted to help. Hey, but man. it was too late. Yeah. No one there for the terrors. Terror. Yeah, I mean, because, yo, that was just a cold terror, spirit. Right, yeah, bro. I mean, Noah probably trembled to the day of his death. That's how right. terrible that, that's that event he, was. Drunk. That's what he was drunk. That's what he was yeah, drunk. Yeah, that was correct. The screams, man. The screams. People that he knew. People, some people that he loved. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's why Jake today, oh, what about the kids? What about the kids? What about the kids? Hey, well, the most I flooded out babies too, bro. Yeah. Well, read Ezekiel chapter 9, verse 4 on down, and we'll see how the Lord maids, you know, kids, even the aged. Yeah, uh, the yeah. scriptures say the Lord is a man of war. Yeah. And when they, the, the coldest man, the coldest man of war, he don't care about no kids, man. Yeah. He just sees blood. He just sees red. That's yeah, it. He that's just sees it. red. Most has to be feared greatly, man. Mm -hmm. I was saying. You're good, bro. This is Jeremiah nine verse twenty four. And we're gonna start winding that's the down. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I bring it out. Good. Jeremiah nine verse twenty four says, but. Let me read from verse 23. Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem Shai, let not the wise man glory in his wisdom, mm -hmm. neither let the mighty man glory in his might, let not the rich man glory in his riches, mm -hmm. but let him that glorieth glory in this, mm -hmm. yep. that he understandeth and knoweth me, that I am Yahweh, which exercise loving kindness, judgment and righteousness in the earth for in these things i delight saith the lord and that's what we need to understand that the lord exercises moves let's speak about that yesterday on the phone yeah about how the lord he's vicious yeah. but he's merciful, merciful too yeah. that's right. that's right. so he's, he's mercy abounds he's balanced yep 
he's balanced. He's a he's a power of duality. Yeah. So as his vicious he's, as he is, he's as the same way he's, 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 he's mercy. Yeah, so his 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 mercy. So like it says, which exercise loving kindness, judgment, which is what we've been bringing out. All right, the terror of the Lord, the judgments that's gonna you know fall upon the earth in these coming days. It says, and righteousness in the earth, for in these things I delight, saith the Lord. Mm. So pretty much the Lord delights in you knowing of him, mm -hmm. you knowing his characters, you know? You knowing and understanding how he gets down, man. Understanding mm -hmm. his program. You got something? Yep. Right. This is Proverbs chapter 1, and verse 7. Mm -hmm. Because in order to know yeah. Yahweh, is to fear Yahweh. So. Well, actually, I saw the Proverbs chapter 10, verse, actually 9, verse 10. Proverbs chapter 9, verse 10, it says, The fear of the Lord Yahweh is the beginning of knowledge. Mm -hmm. And the knowledge of the holy mm -hmm. is understanding. Mm -hmm. And how do we gain understanding of the knowledge of the holy? Through fear. Mm -hmm. Proverbs chapter 1, verse 7. It says, The fear. Please break me one second. Now, it you, says, need, you need teachers to, to teach you that fear, man. Right. You know, you need right. teachers. Because mm -hmm. you can, you know, read the Bible, read about. Um, mm -hmm. The time of Noah, read about Sodom and Gomorrah, but not really understand who's behind that. Yeah. Not really understand the power that's behind that. Hey, our forefather Job, he he realized the duality of, right, the, exactly. of our yeah. Lord. Come, you know, come. he said to his wife, well, shall, shall we, we receive only good yeah. through yeah, the most high and right, that's right, evil? Yeah, right. You know? Yeah, man. Come. That's why the scripture says, knowing therefore the terror yeah. of the Lord, we persuade men. Mm -hmm. no, because yeah. a man he can't persuade himself of the terror of the Lord off of his own for a new a new person that's like coming into the faith. They mm -hmm. need to hear. Yeah. How can I accept somebody should guide me? A right. perfect example because what what our people like to say, oh, Satan or the devil. They yeah. giving them too much credit. Yeah, exactly. It's the most high that did it, man. Right, 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 right. I kill. I kill and I yeah. I make alive. Yep. You know, I wound I, and I heal. He said, I I I the one that do these things. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. No other no other God but me. Yeah. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? We know yeah. one thing for sure. Fear is the greatest motivator. Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. When you were a child and you do something wrong, yeah. the only thing that was gonna correct you is the fear that you was gonna get your ass with. So. <laughs> That's yeah. right, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Fear is the greatest motivator. Mm -hmm. So this, so again, this is Proverbs chapter one verse seven. It says, "The fear of the Lord Yahweh is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction." So with knowledge comes understanding. Well, understanding comes wisdom. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, with all that like getting, yeah, get understanding. Understand. And the knowledge of the holy is understanding. How do we acquire, how do we acquire that? True fear, mm -hmm. true being taught. Yeah. Uh, hey, I will give you pastors according to my heart that shall feed you mm -hmm. with knowledge and understanding. Understand. That's Jeremiah 3 verse 15. All right. So you have to be taught the fear, man. And once you're taught the fear, you have to walk in that fear. Mm -hmm. Like the brothers were going into, you know, this isn't like, uh, it's not, it's a regular movement. It's not a fad. It's not a trend. This is the truth, man. Mm -hmm. This is why we refer to what we're involved in as the truth. You know, it is the truth, man. Got a quick precept. Right, let's go back into the Noah. Let's go. This is uh second Edges three and um and six it says, and thou lettest him into um seven, and unto him thou gavest commandments to love thy way, which he transgressed, and immediately thou appointed death in him and in his generation, of whom came nations, tribes, people, and kindreds out of number. Yeah. And every people walked after their own will, and did wonderful things before thee, and despised thy commandments. And again, in process of time, that brought us the flood upon those that dwelt in the world and destroyest them. And it mm. came to pass in every of them that, that as death was to Adam, so was the flood to these. Wow. Nevertheless, one of them, thou leftest, namely Noah, with his household, of whom came all righteous men, which is only, really, he saved him, Noah, and his sons and his wives, you know? Now when they lived so wickedly before thee, thou didst choose thee a man from among them, whose name was Abraham. Mm -hmm. Him thou lovest, and will, and unto him only thou showest thy will. And made a everlasting, and shown the duality of the Lord right here, man. Mm -hmm. How the Lord is balanced. Mm -hmm. It says, and made an everlasting covenant with them, promising him that thou wouldest never forsake his seed. 
Because the Lord, when he destroyed the great multitude, but yet at the same time, he saved the cluster, man. Yeah. Showing you the balance of the Lord, man. So the Lord's going to do the same thing all over again. Exactly. The remnant. That's uh, yep. you know, The remnant, the elect. Yep. And unto him that gave us Isaac, and unto Isaac also that gave us Jacob and Esau. As for Jacob that did us choose him to thee, and put by Esau. And so Jacob became a great multitude. Meaning what? The Lord is showing his duality even with these two nations. When you go to Jacob and Esau, Esau is the end of the world. These, these Edomites are the people that the Lord hates. Yeah. So these, so, so the Lord is showing you duality. What I can hate, and I'm gonna show you how I hate. Yeah. Then he showed. Then he put. Then he chose the people that he loves, Jacob, and he could show how he loves us, man. Yeah. What and how did the Lord show that he loved us by giving us his only begotten Son, Yahweh? Mm -hmm. You see, because through even though, okay, the um the Lord is gonna deliver the elect on this side through the elect. Right? Just like through these righteous men, what? Multitudes, the two-thirds are going to come back through, through the elect, man. Mm -hmm. And so what the scripture says, all of Israel is going to be saved, man. Yeah. You see the everlasting mercies of the Lord? Mm -hmm. But yeah. then you see the what? The left-hand side of the Lord is what? He's going to exterminate a nation, man. Yeah. You see? Yeah, but he also gave every nation an opportunity to rule. So. So. And he gave it's not to say It's not see? to say that the Lord it was un totally unfair. Even Esau had multiple times yeah. to rule. Yeah. Even to now, yeah. but now it, it's that the last. You know, yeah. Israel has to take over. Yeah, yeah. and reign. You know, as as uh, Solomon did. You know, because, the peace on earth. Yeah, yeah, because the the earth was created for our sakes. Mm -hmm. You know, he he set these other nations up to rule because we went off. But really, right. the earth right. belongs right. to us. Right. You and know, that's why yeah, that's these, these nations nation. these nations are going to yeah. serve us in the kingdom of heaven. That's why it's twelve months in the year. Yeah. All this around, all this yeah, revolves around wow, us. That's heavy, bro. Twelve hours in a day. Yeah. You know, uh, two, two, two sets of twelve yeah, two hours. Sets of 12, yeah, twenty-four makes twenty-four. Mm -hmm. yeah. But it's it's really um it's two it's two types of days, which is the daytime and the yeah, nighttime. Daytime. Right. So everything was made for us, wow. the twelve tribes. Right. You know, so it's not to say that the law wasn't fair because he gave all nations their opportunity, mm -hmm. but now it's going to be. Our opportunity soon, Lord willing. Yeah. Hey, really, you know, the time of coming into you is the time for Yahweh Shai to rule, man. You know, this kingdom that's, you know, that the Lord is preparing right now is Yahweh Shai's kingdom, man. And, you know, we're just blessed as Hebrew Israelites, you know, because we're going to be joint heirs with our Lord. That's by default, you know, by default, we're going to rule with Yahweh Shai in yeah. his kingdom. You know, and we're going to have the opportunity to rule this world in righteousness. And many other worlds. And, and, and many other worlds. Because what did, what did the Lord say? In my, in my in father's, father's house, there are many, 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 many mansions, mansions, man. Many and that's speaking about the, the different galaxies, yeah. what Esau calls black holes. Yeah. You know. Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard. Yeah. 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 Things that the most high I go to prepare a place for you. to prepare a place for you. So we got a lot to look forward to, you know. Strict out our intent. Yeah. <laughs> As Hebrew Israelites. Yeah, like, yeah, they said they just discovered another um, galaxy. galaxy. Yeah, yeah. That it takes like 16 million, of, according to Esau, it takes like 16 million years to get from one end of the, the galaxy to the other, which I don't know how he, you know, how he calculates that. <laughs> but nonetheless, yeah, you know. The Lord has got mansions out there, man. Yep. You know, beyond Earth, and you know we're gonna rule these different galaxies, man. Underneath Yahweh Shai, because it's His kingdom. You said my father's house are many mansions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's many, what... many homes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We ain't talk about no houses made with clay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's about planets. Yeah. That's it. Because Esau said, um, mm -hmm. there's uh, other planets that you can uh, fit human life. Right. Because yeah. we gonna live forever, and we ain't gonna live forever here only on Earth. Exactly. You know. And the reason why we're going to live forever, let's finish out on this point. The reason why we're mm -hmm. going to live forever is because we're going to receive that new covenant, man. Mm -hmm. You know, that's through the, the mercy of Yahweh Bashmah Shai putting his laws, statutes, and commandments in our inward parts. You know, the reason why we die, the reason why we go off, which is what leads to death, the brother brought out earlier, Romans 6 and 23, yep. the wages of sin is death, is because of this flesh, man. And we're subject unto, unto sin, we're subject unto it. But when the Lord changes us as a people, when he puts these laws in our inward parts, we're not going to die. We're going to be immortal. We're going to be, um, etern we're gonna be eternals. Yeah. Yeah. Extraterrestrials. Yeah. You know, so there's a lot, a lot to look forward to, but we're also living in a time of fear, man, concerning the, the current time we're living in, man. You know, we're heading into some very perilous times concerning the time of Jacob's trouble. You know, all hell breaking loose in the society, and you need to have this wisdom, man, this wisdom, this knowledge, this understanding, 
to hold you down in that day. Okay. And that's pretty much what we're teaching you. you know, as, the, as the Lord's men, we're teaching you how to navigate you know, through the spirit, which is going to lead unto your, unto your salvation. If you get down with your Habash Malachi's program. That's anyway, true. That's anyway, true. Anyway, you know. <laughs> <Close out. laughs> because yeah, that's true. Because you got to get down with your Habash program because mm -hmm. the fact is that the Lord didn't give us the spirit of fear. Yeah. So when these things happen, in, in, in the spirit, we're going to be rejoicing, yeah, yeah, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? We want, we want to, that to, yeah, to, to happen. That's true. We need yeah. to know? That's true. Because be, before that could happen, that's how the, the kingdom is going to yeah. come. Yeah. You know, with great tribulation, yeah. that's how we're going to enter into the kingdom of heaven, mm -hmm. man. But, you know, these things have to happen, you know? Yeah. Um, this goes on the scripture. Shabbat 10 verse 4. The power of the earth is given into the hand of the Lord. Which right now, the yeah. Lord has given the power of this earth into the hand of the wicked. The wicked being Esau, Edom. Malachi 1 verse 4, Job 9 verse 24. The earth is given to the hand of the wicked. Go ahead. And in due time, he will set over it one that is profitable. And in due time, the Lord is going to set up one that is profitable for this earth. Whereby everything is going to be turned right side up. Because right now, this earth is upside down. Why? Because the Edomites are ruling, man. And that profitable one is going to our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, man. You know, that's who's gonna rule this earth alongside his 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 people, the Hebrew Israelites, man. That's right. You know, so pretty much that's where we're gonna end this lesson. You know, giving all praises, honors, and glory to Yahweh. Double honors to our elders, the apostles of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the elect. Shalom, Shalom, Ababa Bo, Ababa Bo, man.